don't do countdowns. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it is Monday, May 16th, as we're recording this. Yes, I know you haven't heard me say the dates because I be forgetting shit. It's okay. I am a special man, and by special, I mean dumb. But if you ever loved playing video games and eating delicious food, you found the perfect podcast because this is the nerd plate with a D. The nerd plate! Instead of a T, gang stuff in here. Matter of fact, my name ain't even Chris today. Oh, I'm going to change my name real smooth. How you change your name? What, what, what is your name? Oh, it is. Oh, oh shit. Mm. That was Avatar. See, you don't can't quit shit. <laughs> Uh, while you're following that, I'm still Rockman 3K3. Oh, stop. I can headshot it this day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, Bringing bucket hats. Oh, Visors, all the 2006 <laughs> swag back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next week, I'm going to wear a jersey. I'm going to wear a throwback. Wear a bitch backwards. I have a headband. You, you know, I got those kind of shades. I just can't, I just can't get for the first one. Listen, listen, I'm just going to say you got to do something out here, man, because, you know, if you watch, did you watch the last episode of Atlanta? You know, I have not watched a single episode of this season. I don't know why. Okay. I, I can't don't. say. Hey, I want to say something. I can't say anything. But to all how, many, people, how many episodes is it? It is, I think, seven or eight right now. So we're getting close to the end. He going to 12? Okay. Yeah, I think he's going to 12. Bruh, you I can't I even say to, anything, but like, oh my god, it's this one was hilarious. I mean, all of them have been good. Like, he's gonna win something. He gotta win something for this season. If he don't, I'm calling it rigged. It, I mean it's already rigged anyway, but uh I, I just yeah, watch it. Cause I can't I can't make the joke I want to make now about your name because whoo it would have I mean, you could it. it's not gonna make sense to me now. I got ten episodes to watch. I know, but like I don't wanna ruin that, so I, I'm just gonna leave it. But you had like I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. So the last one was a, <laughs> it was about all the black children in a high school getting scholarships in this wonderful world that Don Glover has created. Mm-hmm. They were given scholarships though <laughs> by the late Kevin Samuels, who was mm-hmm. actually playing a CEO of like a shea butter, like hair cream. Like, God, he's just like, I'm coming back and I'm going to give all you kids because I used to go here. You know what I'm saying? The name of the high school was Stonewall Jackson High School in Georgia. And he's just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a big student. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to fix all this shit. First off, I'm going to change the name of the school because I own the school now. You know what I'm saying? And second off, I'm going to give everybody here that's a student scholarship. And they were like, oh, my God. You know, and it was like, the, it was following this white dude the whole show, of course. And so he's like, to all the black people. And then the white people are like, oh. Oh. <laughs> and so then, person. right? And so Damn. The white people were, like, upset. And, and then this episode, the kid they're following is a white kid that had a black dad. So he was, like, the wigger, basically. And so he had his hairstyle still hanging out with white friends and stuff. And so... He had found out that he could go appeal his blackness to like the actual like fucking like the CEO like, dude. Yeah, the CEO dude. So he goes. Was he actually there. played by Kevin Samuels. Yes, he was actually played. Kevin Samuels played this before he died. So mm-hmm. he was actually R. played R. by him, right, and then <laughs> on, on the committee was him, and it was uh the dude from God. Um, uh, it was the comedian from the Tom Joyner show, and I can't remember his name. I, I, I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. But, Jay Anthony Brown? Uh, it wasn't Jay Anthony. No, no, no. It, you're right. It, not Jay Anthony Brown. The other one that Jay Anthony Brown always made fun of that used to come on the show. Mm. I can't remember his name, but you you would know him if you knew. Him. I know. Like, it's, I know. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, but like Jay Anthony Brown, just yeah, to, yeah. No, no. It's the other guy. But <laughs> so he comes on the thing. I'm gonna look it up. You like, keep talking. Okay, he comes on the scene, right? And, mm-hmm. like, he's, like, trying to, like, pass the black tribunal. So they just, like, all right, Dan, you want to be black, huh? Well, what's this? What does this mean? What does this mean? And they asked him all these black questions. And he's trying to answer. He even used some of the stuff from the show. Like, one of the answers he says is in response to, like, how much is the Arizona uh, juice can? He's like, price will sign a can, though, which is a callback to one of the episodes. Right. <laughs> and so they're talking about it. And they like go through all of it. It's like, mm, you won't be black, huh? Well, fuck you, nigga. You ain't black. <laughs> you ain't black. <laughs> but 
but I have a black phone. Fuck you. You know you ain't black. Dang. No, 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 you ain't black. You ain't got no black friends. He's like, what? You don't know that? He's like, yes, I do. You know how I know? Because your black friends will told your ass out to come in this goddamn shit. Mm. <laughs> so they kick him out. And like, he comes back. He's like, nah, fuck this. Because before, previous in, in the episode, what I, what, I, what I did mention is he was playing a game where, with these black dudes and they were like winning and roasting them or whatever. And then he was winning on them. And so he's like, man, shut up, monkeys. At least I know my father. Ooh, ah. They're like, oh, hell no. Nah. Fuck you, little nigga. Where the fuck you at? I'm going to beat your ass. And so he got the idea for that game he's playing, which is a lot like Call of Duty, to make a flamethrower. And he was going to make a flamethrower and burn down the school. And so at the end of the episode, him and this other black dude were just like, and he's like, why the fuck are you here? He's like, he said I'm not black enough because he's from Africa. <laughs> So he's like, well, you know, technically he's right because you know, you know your heritage and you have an origin and a culture. You know, right. we don't black have Americans it. don't have that. And he's like, shut up, I'm still black. And so he's like, that's all right. He's like, you still my idea because he's telling the white dude, so you stole my idea. I'm gonna burn this down. And he's like, no, I'm gonna burn it. He's like, you know what? If you're not careful, I'm gonna burn you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you already been burnt. And he's like. Nigga, was that a dark skin joke? Fuck you. And he just started going in at him. They blood flame throwing each other. And it's all in black and white, mind you. It's just very scenic and very artsy. And then, so at the very end, they, like, the black kid's about to kill him. And the police show up and get shot, like, shoot him. And then, so the black kid's, like, being wheeled out. He's about to go to the emergency room and shit. And Kevin Samuel show up. He's just like, son, what happened? You tried to burn down school, didn't you? Because you went black enough. He's yeah, I just I need that scholarship. He's like, well, son, nothing's more black than getting shot by the police. He goes, it's yet. And he gave him the tip. <laughs> he's like, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then he's he, he, oh, he was praying off everybody. Make sure he lives now, okay? He important. He black. And he gave all, he gave the, it, 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 uh, I can't talk, EMT's money. And so they all going off. And so the white kid just get arrested and just he sent off. And so it, it fast forward to years later. This dude's at Best Buy selling Best Buy shit now, or what is a Best Buy. And so his girlfriend that used to hang out with him because she left him for a black dude, she came to check on him. And, like, he full-on wigger, man. He got his hair shaved, looking clean, got the brush with the waves and shit. And so she came, she's like, I just, you know, how is it? And he's like, well, you know, same old shit. How's it with you in college? She's like, it's good. And he's like, hey. I've never been more attracted to you in my life. And she's like, oh. And he looked at the camera like, <laughs> that shit was amazing. Donald Glover was a fucking genius. This is his head. He's doing the head. Bruh, I, I had to talk about it because, like, he was trying everything to be black. And it was the oh. funniest shit ever. Because they on. also, yeah, he put on, and, like, he didn't put on a bucket hat, but one of his buddies was, like, putting on a wave cap. That's why, because, you know, bucket hats, oh. wave caps, black. But, like, one of his, his buddies who was, like, obviously Middle Eastern or whatever, he's like, yo, man, can you do a wave check on me? And he had, like, wave cap on. It was the shit was the funniest shit ever. Bro, you got to watch these episodes. I will. Yeah, hilarious. I'm too hung up on bullshit TV, like Halo, for some stupid <laughs> ass. Yeah, it's just awful. Uh, Started off real strong. I mean, it's like the, the And train. then it dropped. The train was just off the rails. I was like, okay, it's off the rails. Then it just took flight. And I was like, I don't know where we go after this. I don't even I think we're on the train anymore. <laughs> we got jetpacks now. We're doing the Fortnite. All right, we're going. Where well, y'all want to drop at? <laughs> I don't even think we're moving no more. I think we just stopped. I, 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 so this is what y'all wanted? Like, at some point, the train disappeared, and we just became people walking on a track. I just want to know where and what story is it? Chief fucking now? Well, I'd be fucking. Not even that, because if he doing that, I'm okay with that, because it should have no. been a little Master Chief chick, or whatever. But this was like, here's a book. Wow, wow. I'm like, wait, 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 hold up. Wait, wait. We skipped a lot. Time out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Time out. Flag on the plane. Apparently, apparently, the penis was so good. She's like, well, I don't need this anymore, and I'm right. all Team Chief. I was like, that makes no sense. There are other ways. This whole, you gonna... <laughs> this whole show don't make sense at this point. 
And it's funny because like people were like, "Oh, see, so y'all, so y'all gamers are really upset that Master Chief lost his virginity." And I'm like, I'm mad. Yes. you don't understand. Yes. It doesn't yes. make sense in the story. I'm, I don't care about him losing. It just doesn't make sense. If they would have built it up to that, okay. But like, this was just like, nope. I love you. I, like that. I love you. Like, wait. I ain't no, right. like, seen Chief fight three times. Everything yeah, else yeah. was was Dawson's Creek esque bullshit, and it's just happening. And the futuristic say, "Oh my god, I took out my my chip." Life. Oh man, I'm gonna go stare at this creek while songs play and shit. Be I'm experiencing emotion for the first time. <laughs> right. right. I'm experiencing emotions. Bruh. Oh man, I saw a dog. It looked like my dog. Oh. Bruh. Oh. Uh, they they did. They just took it. It's like flowers Every They went from bullets to flowers. I was like, what, what is they get, what? It's so you much know. exposition in this show and it doesn't make sense. It, again, it's shit I just don't care about. And like the. Uh, so this is like whenever I talk about characteristics, this is this is one of the, the examples where it's just not a characteristic of Master Chief. It's this not. Is dookie. It this is. is cheeks. This and is then, cheeks. Okay, okay. And then here, here's my other question. Fuck a headshot. Why? Why were they able to subdue a whole Spartan, which is the female Spartan? And okay, I get it. Like they can be subdued because they have fail saves, but they didn't do that. They just beat the shit out of, her, and they handcuffed her. To something she can obviously get out of, by the way. didn't even have armor on. Just... <laughs> then, then, oh, and we ain't gonna talk about the fight between Master Chief and the other Spartans, which he should have died. Because I was like, all right. No, no, uh, I will say that. that I mean, he had the layer action. on. Yeah, he had the layer on. He so was still, that. Chieftain took out, Chieftain took out plenty. He so has, that yeah. Nick, that Nick, his hands verified on Twitter and Instagram. But, he but, can do it. Cool, man. Like I, just, I know. Yeah, I, so, like I was like, why like that? Yeah, like I, I don't know, man. I don't know what they were thinking about. That. Like I, I get why. Like Bungie was just like, yeah, we out. Because I, I feel bad for three four three studios. I, I kind of do too. I know they didn't sign off for that. Shit. I know that was Microsoft. Was like, yeah, this is gonna make us money, guys. Go because the next like, game is gonna be more you, for the show and not for the and not. No, like, it is. You, you know, you know, she's gonna be a Halo Six. You know she is, because that's how they're gonna end it. They're gonna end it. Um, Mark oh, it's not gonna be the end. Oh, I know, I know. But they're looking the shit end. out of Halo for the rest of their life. Episode twelve is gonna be the introduction for Halo. What are we on seven? Gonna be the introduction for Halo seven, Fuck and then we gonna get season two of that show, which nobody wants anyway. That that ain't gonna happen for another two or three years. At this point, yeah, I I, I don't want season two. Because I, I mean, thought it was going to, I thought this shit was building towards something. Like, we're going to see the flood. Well, we're going to get some sense of forerunner technology. No, this this is this is literally Dawson's Chief. Dawson's Creek, Dawson's, Dawson's Chief. Chief. That's, that's all this fucking Wait, is. Listen, listen, as you kids would say, I know it was some mid. They had a whole episode for Bokey, uh, Woodbine, and oh, the other guy. <laughs> and fucking trying to get back to the Asian chick who almost killed him. Who almost oh. killed this nigga? I was like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, Master Chief is not even in this episode. Hmm. Why oh. am I still here? Why am I still watching this? <laughs> this show's bad. And I'm which sorry. Is, which is the opposite of fucking Boba Fett. You remember every time Boba Fett? Oh, Boba Fett ain't here? Oh, shit, nigga. We got to get into some shit now, man. But, boy, At this point, this show is neck and neck right now. And oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't do Halo like that. No. The only pro- <laughs> Look. The only benefit right now that Boba Fett got, that shit was short. That's Six episodes, done. You, you know Halo gonna go to that full 12. You know it's just gonna be confusing. Oh, I already know. Like, I already fucking know. What are y'all doing? What? And then Look. the female chicks coming in and rescuing everybody. Like, I was like, okay. So, like, and the doctor being as smart as she is, you would think she would have a better plan other than just, yeah, the Spartans. And I was like. They make calls at this dumb. Not dumb, but she's like, "Oh yeah, the Spartans are gonna do it all. The Spartans are this, 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 yeah, this." They, they make realize her... that Halsey had had protocols to undermine everything the USMC had Halsey in was, place was in so the game. Fucking smart. This motherfucker is... left and That's... sequestered herself across the fucking galaxy because she didn't want to do what they wanted to do. And I guess that's what they're trying to build up to. But I was like, Halsey would have come up with a better plan than that. Because here's one thing that frustrates me about the show with Halsey. The actress playing Halsey's great. I love her. But, mm-hmm. like, 
they go back, the story goes back and forth with being really intelligent or just really obsessed with the Spartans. It's never yeah. too mutually thin because that was the thing in the games and in the books. She was hyper intelligent, and that was her project. That's the only thing she cared about. But they were just like, yeah, we're just going to make it to where she's like, you know, obsessed. And it's like, okay. So far, Chief done took his helmet off. He experiences emotion. This motherfucker done had sex, like real sex, not that, not that Halo list. 4 list. real list. horny moment where he touched Cortana and his dick got real hard. Like you could tell his dick got hard. Man. What's next? He going to start smoking crack? He's like, oh my god, I haven't experienced this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and smoke this rock. Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh, my shield gauge doesn't even matter anymore, bro. They keep calling me, bro. They keep calling me Cortano. <laughs> Fucked up like Pookie. God damn. What? And then, like, the only redeeming factor is that it's Cortana hey. turning. And then, even me and that, that was just like, yeah. I was about all, right. To say, all right. Okay. Well, well that's, yeah, at least it got, yeah. At least. I just, just the sex scene that was so awkward because Cortana's just like, <laughs> like, she beats her like, ooh. <laughs> like, wait, 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 hold, log off, what you doing? <laughs> get, get, get in the boat. Mm. <laughs> ooh, girl, look at this shape mm. butter. Like, what is hey, it? It's it? like creepy as fuck, bitch, log off. <laughs> oh, and Chief and- already, and Chief a robot, so he don't look like he know what the fuck he doing. It's, that's, ooh, that was, ugh, that was painful. That it was, was so crazy. awkward to watch. Bro. I was like, ah. I watched that ah. disgusted, <laughs> disgusted. I was just like, because I, because you know, like I was, I was planning on watching it, but before I watched it, you know, people were talking about the oh, my sheep loses virginity, my sheep does, and I saw you post, and I was just like, what the fuck? And I watched it, and I was just like, yeah. okay, so I, because I was like, what well, made sense is maybe him and the other. Like Spartan, cool. I can kind of see that. And even that's got to be the awkward shower scene or wherever the fuck. No, mm-hmm. it's literally the spa chick who's just like, I've known the company all my life, but I'll leave them for you, Master Chief. I love you. Here's a book. Ooh. Like, wait, what? Wait. <laughs> all she had to do was say, I'll leave them for you. And you was like, okay. And Man. you just let the first bitch that you ever talked to more than 20 minutes Bruh. suck your dick? That's. Bruh. That's how you get herpes, bro. <laughs> bro, the whole time I was watching, that's I was space like, herpes. I was just watching like, not only that, that is a child. That is a fucking child. She apparently eighteen or no, she's like twenty something. Because they she's like twenty something. Yeah, I'm just saying, but yeah, compared so, yeah, to yeah, Master yeah, Chief yeah, and her, yeah. that is a fucking child. You yeah, are he, he, he's been around for what hundreds of years. <laughs> nah, he ain't that old. He, <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's I'm sorry. This is a prequel. If it did exist. <laughs> Look, I was like, at that point, it's a prequel, and who the fuck knows? Reach is still around. A lot of people who should be dead are still alive and very much walking. Commander yeah. Keys, I thought I thought Jacob Keys was gonna be the coolest black dude ever. This nigga does nothing for this show. He is just yeah, I'm black. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get it done, Chief. Uh, Damn it, Holsey. I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to love our daughter. Wait. <laughs> The sexual tension doesn't even exist. You can't even tell that they're a couple for real. There's no inner working relationship between Bruh, you, you, you Halsey, can. and Miranda. Bro, you can walk through that that awkward space just freely. That shit got an apartment room in that motherfucker. You just, they don't oh, even hey. look at each other like they used to like each other. They are com- they are straight co-workers, my nigga. And, and it makes me mad because the actress who plays Halsey is beautiful. I like how they portray Halsey, but like she just plays second fiddle to her mom. And I'm just like, you talking okay. about keys. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Miranda. yeah, Miranda Keys. Yeah, I'm like, okay, all right. Not knowing that Miranda Keys one day inherits, uh, takes over the not, whole thing. No, she don't do that. She takes over uh, the ship, which forward unto dawn, which was right. Miranda Keys' ship. But when Keys dies, Miranda has to take over, and she basically becomes Chief's handler for like three games. Yeah, motherfucker's hella smart, hella military minded. This motherfucker here trying to translate covenant language and worry about our I'm just trying to be a scientist, mom. Love and me. Then, and she gets the sparring program and she handled that shit so awkward and so dumb. Just like, oh, I want to talk to the Spartans. I can do that, right? Yeah, bitch is yours. Okay. <laughs> you, right, yeah. you and then her and the, the females where you loathe us. The, the, the show is so uninterested. I don't even know names anymore. All I know is, is Master Chief. Oh, <laughs> shit, it's so awkward. 
It is. I, it started off as a really good sci-fi show, and just like, okay, three episodes. It's making me go back into like that old sci because it made me like, okay, I love this because this is sci-fi days. But yeah, mm-hmm. we got to one. The first strike was him taking his helmet off in the first episode. I was like, okay, all right, it's a little early for that, but I'm gonna let that go. Okay, I'm about to say, it's real early. Like, damn, thirty minutes in, uh, nigga, uh, y'all didn't even try and make that shit mysterious. Bruh, and we only had about two, maybe three covenant fights. So two covenant fights, and then we get to the point where he just fucking the spy chick, and everybody's just like, oh, "They, they're bonded. They, they, they bond. We're gonna find the artifact." What? Like, so that's how we gonna find it? You know really? What? Really? I had, I had some fucking, I had hope. We spoiled the shit out of this series, but it's okay. Don't watch the shit. I had hope because when you know, uh, what was it episode six or eight or whatever when they both touched it. And Chief passed out, and they woke up on Halo. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I was, I was like, like All "Okay, right. maybe we're maybe getting we some get fucking some. weird. Maybe <laughs> completely destroyed my emotions." <laughs> Goodbye, Chief. No, wait. Uh... No, wait. You're the first <laughs> female that I've talked to that's not a military person. Don't leave because my heart can't take it. Because I'm just now realizing what love and attention and affection is. So now I need that I'm, constantly. I'm a listen, child. I, I'm a I, child. I, if if they would have built that up more, I would have been for that. But like like I mean, they really tried to, and I mean even because you know what they tried to do. They tried to do the whole Starcraft thing with Terrigan and uh, I don't know. And old dude, okay, well Terrigan and uh, one of the guy I forgot his name. Um, but anyway, Terrigan and when well, she was like the ghost, she was a Starcraft ghost that turned into the Brood Queen. But Terrigan and this sure. other guy with the Federation. Before they split off from like Federation or Union or whatever of Earth, they had a relationship kind of like that to where like she was a ghost, but like he had really felt her and he was falling in love with her. But then she was set up by like his uh, Federation general buddy who was like, oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to nuke the Zerg. We're going to get rid of the Zerg. And instead, he sent her in with the infection thing. And that's what mutated her into the Brood Queen. But, like, Terrigan still, like, had all this emotion and feeling for, like, the other dude. And she was just like, you know, I love for you. I'm not going to kill y'all, but I'm going to leave with the Zerg or whatever. So that's what they tried to do. But even that was a buildup. Like, through the campaign of StarCraft, you saw that, like, love and affection and stuff like that. But this was just like, hey, Chief, I used to read this book back on my planet. And then he magically follows the book because that wasn't going that wasn't a smoking gun and he's like, here's this book you want to come by the house later <laughs> what 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 then then okay. pitch no kind of woo just, just told us like, he's like I, I i i'll leave the cover for you and he just he just stood up and took <laughs> he just stood there with his with his pants on okay she... what do we do now she gave him the greatest I can change ever. You know, I'll leave hey. for you. <laughs> Word? Oh, hold on, bitch. Yeah, he said, man, let me take this arm off. You said the covenant? Mm. Took that shit off so quick. Like, I'm like, I damn. Normally, it takes eight machines to take this nigga's arms off. He was just like, nah, fuck that. I'm good. I, so, I, and, and I guess that's another thing. He used to get undressed like Iron Man with this shit right here. And he was just like, nah, pussy. Get me dizzy. <laughs> Take me, bitch. <laughs> it's like she said, uh, you want some head? And he was like, girl, could play. <laughs> I, got, I gotta go to work. You sure? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go to work. <laughs> you sure? You sure? Uh. <laughs> no, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm I can't this is my third strike. I can't be late no more. You know <laughs> Where were the guards? The guards out. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, yeah. No, no, they were dismissed because he said he's like, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. <laughs> okay. Chief, we can't dismiss y'all because that's the spot. You're dismissed. So I, that's another thing too. What is Master Chief's ranking exactly? Because sometimes it's like you do whatever the fuck he tells you. And then other times it's like And then other times it's like, no, fuck him. Get him. him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Okay. That was the equivalent of slipping your roommate a smooth dub when your lady come over and like, hey, bro, go see a movie or something. <laughs> All right. The sock, <laughs> but the sock is on dismissed. the door. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be some furniture moving in here. I don't need y'all in here making it laugh. <laughs> Yo, we're going to be in here dancing. You might have some clapping. <laughs> 
I'm out. <laughs> Netflix, are you still watching? He in the back. <laughs> Beating it up. <laughs> Paying that ass up. Boy, I swear to God. What are we doing out here? What are we doing? <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna go ahead and publicly apologize to you, <laughs> uh, my mama, and the other the other two people that's on Paramount Plus. I'm sorry. I am 100 percent sorry. I'm hey. sorry that I wasted. No, it's okay, wasted. man. It's okay. We all had hope, and it just because <laughs> look, that's yeah. like I'll tell you another thing that Paramount banked their money on, and it just didn't work for them. Did you watch Infinite? Did you watch that movie? Mm-mm. Okay, so it's a Mark Wahlberg movie about like I really don't care. <laughs> but listen to the premise. The premise is you remember all your past lives. So if you were a Severa in the past life, which of course a white man was was some other nationality in the past life. Okay. I'm glad you said that. Because I watched the last Samurai again. That movie wasn't as bad as I remember. No, it's actually good. It's still racist, but it's good. Yeah, I was about to say it's <laughs> very racist. Very racist. That movie was, that movie was pretty decent. I can see no. why Tom Cruise deserved, got a couple of awards. For oh, movie. yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> but so Infinite was like, yo, you can remember your past lives. Like, we just keep recycling. So you're not really immortal, but you remember so much shit that you can just do things with that. It's a fair premise. The mm-hmm. execution is really stupid. <laughs> Re- <laughs> like, it was like, all right, Paramount. I see why this went straight to streaming because yeah, but it had some good people. In, well, okay, it had two good people in it. Mark Walt. Well, it had one and a half good people. In it. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark he good in some stuff. And then uh, Chewie Edel, the guy who played Mondo, like the black dude who played Mondo. He's a really great actor. Now him and Mondo. Mondo. That's, who the fuck is Mondo? From, uh, Baron Mondo from uh, Baron Mordo, nigga. Mordo. God, why did I say Mondo? What the fuck? I don't know. I was about to say Mondo Burger. Mordo, what? No, Mordo. Who played Mordo? Chitelio okay. and yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a good actor. Yeah. Uh, great English Fantastic. actor. Uh, he was in it, too, and he plays the guy who's trying to stop all this because he's just like, no, I'm tired of living. This shit is suffering. God has to show me his face. And he, like, kills. He's trying to kill all of them. And basically how he kills them is by stealing their soul and putting them on a server. It goes all over the place. It's like Matrix, Inception, and Wanted. I like Lucy, too. And Lucy, yeah. I'm ever... So White Woman is the origin of everything. Word? That's what we do it? I think... <laughs> see, that's not what I got from it. I got she evolved into something <laughs> that is nothing and yet everything. That That is what... She evolved into for. omnipresence. Right, right. Like, basically. I'm still mad that it was a white woman, though. <laughs> Well, well, I, well, I, mean, I don't think the gender man. I think Scarlett Johansson was just the perfect role for oh, that movie. Yeah, I mean Scarlett Johansson plays anything. You know, look, Japanese shit. Scarlett Johansson. Look oh, at Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> look, I was say, you saw how bad Ghost in the Shell was. I didn't even watch it because I was like, I know they're gonna fuck it up. I don't even. They were like, no, Rockman. Oh. No, they're gonna fuck it up. I you ain't gotta worry. I saw the reviews on that movie. Trash, bro. I was just like, oh. And I mean, I'm not even mad at Scarlett Johansson. I'm mad at the people I'm who mad make they made it. that fucking movie. Yeah, because it's like, you're not going to do it right. So, But yeah, no, it's not your fault, bro. Like that. Halo was just like, okay, because it, it had the budget, it had the special effects. It's just whoever did the writing was just like. <laughs> here's, 20 year, here's 20 years of source material that we can look at. Master Chief fucking? You. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh. Let me get on Reddit and go to the fan fiction section and see what I can pull out of that. Oh, man, he busting a nut in the covenant spot? Oh, shit. He don't have a covenant spot. We can make one, though. We can make, we can one. make one. We can make one. <laughs> but no. Uh, uh, nothing else. Me and Mama still got Star Trek Picard Season 2 and Best Goat. Uh, it's Star, Star Trek, Trek Lower Story. Decks. Lower Decks is hilarious. I love that. It's funny. But she's a real Trekkie. She ain't even watch that shit. And uh, the yeah. other stuff, I can't, I can never remember. I think it's Strange uh, New Worlds. Strange New Worlds, yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as I finished up with Star- uh, Picard season two, I'm jumping straight into Strange New Worlds and just forget this bullshit. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Hopefully, they'll come up with something better because you know South Park has another uh, COVID special they're gonna do on Paramount yeah. Plus, and then something else is coming to Paramount Plus. So you got got a few other things, but yeah, bro. Paramount I Plus is like, make it. Yeah, I was like, bro, what the. F- like, that was such a, like, all right, we're going to shoot this missile. And they just pointed to the ground. <laughs> hey, man. It's we're the same team. I know. <laughs> what the? Oh. 
Paramount oh Plus God. may not make it to the end of the year. Uh, bro, you know what? When they miss it. <laughs> and I got it for free. I would not miss it. I'd be like, I no, know. I understand. I totally understand. <laughs> Just let me know so I can take the app off as soon as you do. <laughs> like, zoop. No pop out. How was your week? Oh, man. It was, uh, it was good, man. Just, you know, trying to get uh, work. Finally got a job. So... Just waiting for the, the background check to come in. Way but... back. Welcome back to slavery, my nigga. <laughs> Out here with the real nigga. Yeah. Man, I got this fresh chain. You know, nobody going to see a chain. Like, I got a chain, bro. It's going to be on. Uh, <laughs> going to get you a letter from Catch Freeman and everything. <laughs> Welcome back to slavery. <laughs> nigga, you get mail? <laughs> <laughs> I got a letter in the mail. I don't know. Nigga, you get mail? <laughs> who told you how to read? <laughs> Batman didn't even exist, Granddad. I don't even know who Batman is. <laughs> yeah. I'm... God, I'm just going ducks. Um, but yeah, I won't say what company I work for because I won't. I won't put the business out there. But when the time <laughs> comes, you'll see. I'll put on on Facebook if I start selling the furniture. Y'all come through and buy furniture from your boy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, other than that, man, that's about it. Just trying to survive, trying to make it. I'm about to go get a haircut tomorrow, so I got this covered up. You know what I'm saying? Nappy boy season, so you know. I right, man. She pain made a business off being nappy, so that's true. That's true. Nappy and uh what was auto tuned? Shut up. Even though he can sing. Yeah. You know. I said T Pain sound better without the auto tune. He nigga, really does. The auto tune really make that nigga sound worse. It honest. really does. Like now that we all heard his real voice, like, damn, like, yeah. Why did you do auto tune, bro? Oh. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me. How's your week, sir? That was cool. Um, had to go to a funeral. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, bro. This week, and had to be there to support my wife and her family yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, condolences, man. Condolences. Yeah. Um, played, play ball Sunday. Um, nice. Probably one of the tougher games. I got hit in the mouth like eight times. Oh, oh, damn! Y'all playing street ball? Street ball? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, so um, y'all play with 90s rules? <laughs> no, it's just the refs no. wouldn't call and shit. Oh, that's the worst. And the worst. Um, it was it was honestly it was honestly one of our toughest games that we played. Um no now, was this teams by like nope sh- don't make hot. Um okay. <laughs> normally we play, we play teams beat them by like 15, 10. We only beat this mm-hmm. team by five. And um yeah, the refs did, did one of y'all do this. And the ref still didn't call it. Where you like went down? He's like, oh, ref. Oh yeah. I, see, I tried to um, I tried to take a charge. Uh-huh. I was a fast break, and I was just, I had, I just had happened to be getting back, uh-huh. and I knew I wasn't gonna stop the dude because I had, I think I had two or three fouls at the time. So I just tried to take a charge. Mm-hmm. But his elbow or but his shoulder hit me here, so I went, like, I went back. I mean, it's fine. He gra- he grazed me because he was obviously trying to avoid the charge. Yeah, yeah, avoid the charge. He yeah. grazed me, but it hit me enough, and I, I fell back, and I slid, and I still got the block and foul call. And man, I was like, man, I'm gonna go. <laughs> that was foul number what three or four. Wow! All man. the other times I had my hands straight. To, okay, I'm gonna teach you a little something about defense here. When you're playing D. And you're under. If you just hold your hand straight up and you mm-hmm. jump straight up and down, you don't jump forward into the person. It's very hard for them to call a foul. Foul, yeah. This shit happened to me like three times in a row. I jumped straight up, and each time I came back down, mm-hmm. they was jumping up, and an elbow or a shoulder was hitting me right here. So each time, like I, like you hit your chin into your jaw, so you're mm-hmm. biting, you're hitting your teeth into each other, and this shit fucking hurts. Mm-hmm. I bit my lip. Mm. I bit my bottom lip. I bit mm. my top lip. Mm. I bit my tongue. I mm. bit my cheek. God damn, son. Yeah, all this shit, right? Like, That's I'm not going to do it. But yeah. This shit, right? I have a cut right here. I have a cut right here. Mm. And two cuts right here. And damn, my tongue's still, like, kind of sore. So mm-hmm. it's okay. Gets down to, like, the last minute. We're playing. We're pressing. It's tied. It's like mm-hmm. 30 seconds left. I foul, get my last. Well, it was. I had one more foul to give, but mm-hmm. at that point, I was just fucking tired. And mm-hmm. one of my teammates pulled me out the game. I sat on the bench and I put my head down. I was like, "Man, fuck this, fuck this game, <laughs> fuck these people." <laughs> but turns out, um, we got the ball. They fouled us. We won. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ended up winning by free throws. 
Okay. I politely went up to all the refs, shook their hand. I was like, appreciate that, ref. Good calls. <laughs> Trying not to be a dick. Because they're all cool as fuck. I know, I like, I know the rest. I've been playing, we've been playing with them a long time. They cool. Mm-hmm. You know, they older dude. They older brothers. I'm like, hey, brother, appreciate them calls. He's like, all right, I appreciate you, young blood. Your mouth okay? Yeah. Yeah, even though you saw that, I, that could be me. I'd be like, thanks, some of, thanks, some of the, thanks, Some of the blood was on my damn lips. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> thanks, Ralph. Thanks for leaving all on the court. We appreciate it. <laughs> Walked out that bitch. I came home. I got in my hammock and I slept. Oh, I think I slept for like two and a half hours. You still got that in the backyard, right? Yeah. Between the two trees, or is it still yeah. on its own? Okay. I took two things of water out there. Took my computer, put some lofi hip hop on. Oh, on my leg, <laughs> on my knee, on my elbow, and on my other um, knee. Put a towel over my face. I feel asleep. Best sleep, probably the best sleep I've had in a while. Funny thing is, is your wife probably was just like, oh, I already know. It's cool, baby. It's cool. Oh, <laughs> but, she, wasn't even, she, was still, she went to her parents' house to eat lunch, and she hadn't come back, so I had the house to myself. Oh, oh you were just... I was outside. Real. My neck, best sleep I had. <laughs> it wasn't hot. It wasn't cold. Wind was blowing. Lofi hip-hop in the back. Ice water. Thanks. Hey. That's yeah, funny. That's funny. I've only done, I think I've only really been sleep like outside, like maybe once or twice. Well, I live in a, I live in a white neighborhood, so <laughs> shit ain't gonna happen to me. No, nah, I mean, you know, I mean, in the hood, after a while, you get hood status to where like they know you, so they're not gonna fuck yeah. with you. But yeah, I think mean, it's only happened two or three times. Shit. Oh, God, it's just good. Um, went out with. Mr. On Point and Calamity Red from Pot for Conversation Con Artists and Cole Jackson went to a ramen shop, which uh, was pretty dope. Okay. Uh, Cole Jackson complained like he does. Um, they they have no vegetable shit for No, no, they had no? vegetable ramen. It just okay. wasn't seasoned, and I was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, man. Did you yeah, tell him he had to put his own season in there? No. No? Okay. Uh, it was cool spot. I mean, mine was pretty good. Mm-hmm. But I guess when they made vegetable ramen, they didn't cook any of the vegetables like you're supposed to, like saute them, them shits, yeah. Pepper, <laughs> no. Just pick that shit in the water, put the noodles, sample. That nigga used to earthy taste. He liked that shit. <laughs> but it was cool. Um, was and we went and got ice cream at um, about the last time we went and got ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where We're there was like, too many white people, and yes, the same thing happened yes. again where we sat in the back <laughs> and like. Uh, Cole Jackson was like, can we Cole leave? Jackson was like, it's snowing in here. I don't like this shit. And he finished and he was like, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. So, oh, shout out to Cole Jackson. Shout out to you. Oh, yeah. But other than that, weekend was cool. My week was fine. Been working like normal. That's what's good. Oh, so, yeah. Well, sir, you ready to hear it? Because you're going first this time, right? Or, yep. Okay. Well, it's my turn to go first this week. All right. Hit us with it. Come on, baby, because we got some ridiculous shit going on in the industry. What you got? Facts. I'm going to let you pick. Um, whoa. Um, new, new mm, I guess it's not a streaming service, but uh, it's a new service that lets you do new, new service, lets you do new shit. Um, nobody asked for this, and yet it's still coming out, and this game is still coming out. All right, I'm going to do this one because I think I might pick the same one. The streaming thing. What is that? New PlayStation Plus will let you play PSP and original PlayStation oh, games no, that you already one. own without the subscription. What? Indeed. That's what I said. Because, uh, what was about? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am intrigued. I am intrigued. <laughs> um, so, you remember... What, a couple of months ago when I told when I told you that PlayStation Plus was changing their own right. brands, right? Right, right. So it'll be like PlayStation is was it PlayStation Essential, I think. Yeah, yeah the Essential Essentials is the one the we extra, got now. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just read the article. This okay. article is coming to us from GameSpot. Um okay. sure. Shout out GameSpot. I don't care. Mm. One of the biggest perks of the new tier PlayStation Plus subscription service is an emulation-based support for all the games like PS1 and the PSP. 
but you don't necessarily need to pay a subscription service to play some older games, according to the new details released today on the 16th. If you own those games digitally, you can play them on the PS4 and the 5 without paying the Plus subscription fee. Oh, nigga. <laughs> I'm about to get all my games back. You know what I mean? I was about to say, this is good for people like you who buy shit for no reason. So, um, can't wait. I'm I'm not going to read the quote because it doesn't do anything. But Sony didn't detail a full list of games which will be available for individual purchase. It did release a partial list of games that includes classics like Ape Escape, Hot Shots Golf, alongside rematches of games like Jack 2 and 3. As well as Rogue Galaxy. The I revised PlayStation it. Plus comes in three subscription tiers, which we've already talked about. The essential mm-hmm. tier is basically the current PlayStation uh, Plus subscription, ten dollars mm-hmm. a month. Mm-hmm. Extra gives you a selection of PS4 and PS5 games for fifteen dollars a month, mm-hmm. and Premium adds a library of classic games for twenty dollars a month. Right. The classic game library hasn't been available on current hardware, so that's a nice perk for fans of legacy games. But it's also nice to know that you've already bought the games. You can just claim them as you normally would. This service will launch on June 13th in North America. Rockman, how do you feel that you don't have to pay to play your old shit? Like all them games that you bought on PS3, PS Vita, PS or whatever the fuck. You can now just play them hoes for the free. Woo! And, and that's is that that's not starting today. It's going to start in June, right? It starts on June 13th. Woo! Nigga. Oh man! And as soon as that hit, I'm downloading almost, and I got that like six, seven, like terabyte hard drive too connected to my PS5. Nick, this guy I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Mm. Thank this, you, I Sony. Think, I think this is Sony's response to shit like Game, well not Game Pass, but um... PS Now. Yeah, no, they still owe us for that. <laughs> In fact, they still owe us for the other shit. Version. Yeah, they owe us for the other shit they try to do. A lot of people don't know about this. This is showing my old schoolness, and you remember this. Remember they tried to do PS Now movies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> tried to make me pay full price for a movie that. What? Nigga, I was like. For oh, a movie that came out two years ago? Oh, I'm straight. Believe me. So, oh, you want me to pay 50 something dollars a year to get all this old shit that I can just buy for $2 on, you know, anything else? Any, just anything else. Matter of fact, oh, look at that. That's on Netflix. Why the fuck do I? Okay. I about to say, I can get these DVDs from Netflix like tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to pay for Mr. and Mrs. Oh. Smith. Oh, Netflix my. Netflix got that shit. What you mean? Oh, Sony thought they were doing something. We got this biggest library of movies. I'm like, these old ass no, movies. Y'all don't. Put Somebody want this shit from 2007? <laughs> Zach and Mary make a porno. I got this shit on DVD. <laughs> the fuck I'm going to buy this book? <laughs> if you're going to do that, give me some real old shit. Some shit I got to go get on VHS. Bring me that shit. Bring that back. I am ecstatic, sir. That is awesome. I'm so happy they took that route. And I think they owe that to the fans because, you know, that's that. A lot of people were asking. That. They're like, well, shit, what happened to all those games we bought on PS3? You know, and that's all that. Y'all talk useless. about, yeah, y'all talk about ecosystem, but we bought those digitally. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna pay us for And I'm glad they did that because, yeah, like, because I mean, I got, oh, God, like, Uncharted, uh, well, I mean, I got all the Uncharted's physical, but Infamous mm-hmm. 2, I think I have uh, free digital because of the whole PlayStation outage incident, Dead Nation, mm-hmm. Little Big Planet, you know, so okay, too. yeah, exactly. So it was one of those things where, like, they definitely need to do that, and then, like, plus, this means I can play PlayStation All Stars again. I bought it digital because it was like it was like five dollars. I was like, why the fuck not? All the games you can play. Why? You know what? You know what? Leroy better play. I'm, I'm sorry. Buckhead Shotty, put some respect on your name. Better play now, sir, because I just saw the trailer for the WB Smash Bros. And that shit looks mid as fuck. I'm so I glad you said I want to be excited. I'm say, if you say that I game, to be good. Out, I, I was like. I will quit. I will leave this so, room right now and have you do the show by yourself. Did you see the characters they put out there? I was like, I knew the characters was coming. It's just, but why would you show those? About, why would you like nothing he, about that trailer was exciting? WB, if you're listening, or is watching. this your next door? No, it's not. But it's segue yeah, to the next one. I, I know, but I'm, I'm segueing into it's. We're gonna get into it more. But I'm gonna say this, WB, if you're listening, watching. 
first off, thank you. Don't, no, off, no, I no, fuck no, don't, no, no. We don't think. Don't listen to this show. Y'all we stop. Don't want you to listen to this listen. show. Y'all stop trying to put the power on Batman and Harley Quinn. Let them bitches go. We got. I'm surprised, I'm surprised we saw Superman. To be completely honest with you, I was oh like, my god, and he was a like, damn this I was like, oh, oh, like I'm like y'all, like. I know y'all love Justice League. I know y'all love the, no, they don't. They the love big Batman. four. The big four, which is, well, shit, Batman. big three, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Y'all got to switch that shit up, please. Uh-huh. Got to take out Wonder Woman. Harley Quinn is more marketable. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Fucking Batman, Superman, Harley Quinn. Y'all got to stop this shit. Come on, man. Come on, bro. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm so fucking tired of that shit. But anyway, it's segwaying into my other. Uh, speaking of crazy people who should stay in the lanes, but this is funny. Thank Bro, you. you ain't gonna you ain't gonna believe this shit. Okay. Netflix says they're getting into the live streaming game. Bruh. <laughs> I saw that I scroll right past so like, it. Not even gonna Bruh. do it. Not Bruh. even gonna put any effort in that one. Oh my god. They're like, move over to it. I'm like, no, uh uh-uh, <laughs> no, nah, bitch. No, nah, you chill. No. Uh now okay, I'll say this. Netflix, you out there. The nerd play is more than willing. Y'all pay us some money. We we get to we get a few hundred dollars per views. Listen, and it ain't even got to be a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll be on there. Hey, look, look, you can pay me enough to be a full time job. We on there. We'll be on there twenty four seven. It'll be insomniac gaming with Rockman, right? And Buckhead Chuck. You know what I'm saying? We'll be out whatever there. You know what I'm whatever. Whatever. That we- That's it. Look, just pay us a couple million, baby. We're great. I'll be on there for five. I said, look, baby, five million for five down. years. Five million for five year contract. I'm on it. Five million, nah, bro. We ain't <laughs> no, getting that. No, no, we ain't getting that. We ain't getting we'll, get that ninja I'll money. Take, <laughs> nah, we'll take. I take. We'll take two years for seventy five thousand. We'll just split that and see how that work. Man, even look, though we'll take look, that shit. Look, man, y'all just come on, man. Cause so yeah. Explain I, to me how this is gonna work, <laughs> please. Now I, I'm, I'm gonna read what they're saying. So this comes to us from IG. It says over the past few years, Netflix has started to explore new categories such as video games and interactive specials. Now the streaming platform is continuing its expansion by stepping into another territory, live streaming. According to a report by Deadline, Netflix is currently in the early stages of developing live streaming capabilities for a few of the platform's special. While it's unknown what exactly this feature might be used to stream, Deadline theorized that it would come in handy for live reunions, for shows like Selling Sunset, like voting for competitive shows like Upcoming Dance 100, and comedy events like Netflix's Jokes Festival. Uh, it's unclear when Netflix live streaming service will be released or if Netflix intends to follow through these plans, but it's, only, it's not the only change to the platform model currently in the works. Uh, in the wake of its largest one-day drop ever, the platform, yeah, yeah, that's where they talk about uh, ad, ads and shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Bucket hat, what's, what's up? Who asked for this? Nobody, bro! Okay. <laughs> I was just like, look, y'all already, yeah. y'all trying to get into video games, you have doing that. You can't even do your other shit, which is supposed to be streaming. You talk about like you cut the animation budget, and it's like y'all had great animation. I about to say the anime, they Netflix anime outdo regular anime, uh, and this and this is original shit too. And they want to cut that. They are they the the interactive shits like what was it called? Black box, Bandersnatch, uh, Black box, Bandersnatch. Yeah, that's it. Sure, whatever. Yeah. That shit was dope. I enjoyed it. Was. it. It was fun. It was, a, it was a choose your own adventure novel in Netflix, and I was like, yes. "All right, I probably won't do it more than once." But it's okay. I did it like four times. I got almost all the endings. It was really good. I liked it. I did I it just... twice. I was like, "Cool." Why video games for what? Which what, what? Why? Why? And then you already trying to upcharge me on these prices. It's like. Well, we I mean, I don't, I don't pay for my Netflix, so I we pay. T- I I do. We pay twenty one fucking dollars for this fucking oh, shit. I'm, like, I'm gonna pay on, that bro. shit. And look, they can try and crack down on these passcodes they want to. Yeah, like niggas ain't been stealing cable 
<laughs> Niggas still bruh, steal cable. Bruh, bruh, look, they might as well be happy with the little bit of money they get. Because, look, you, you can do that shit if you... Like, they already saw when they announced, oh, we're thinking about, like, cutting down sh- password sharing. 200,000 subscribers off of Jump shit. Nah, fuck that. Like, nah, for all that, I go to Hulu. I go to Hulu. Because even Hulu is like, we don't really care. In fact, we'll encourage it. If you pay $7 more, I know we'll this. add two more screens to your shit? No, they do unlimited, bro. Like, because me and my oh, mom yeah. got that huh. shit. Yeah, and so it's like, as long as you ain't watch... If y'all are in the same area, you can watch it on TV. But if you're mm-hmm. not... All you can do is computer and like, oh, I'm totally okay with that. Right. So here's my concern with Netflix trying to do live streaming is that maybe they saw the money that Twitch was making and say, hey, that's cool. We need the millions of dollars. Even though even Twitch fucked over the people at the end because now I didn't change that shit to where you can't make as much money anymore. I was like, you can't even put that much money in the shit no more. Yeah. uh, This is not the way for Netflix. This is not the way. No. If Netflix wants to really improve shit, reduce the price, give me better content. That's what I want. Now, I'm not saying not they better. have to give me just more. Give me you more. Know? Yeah, because their content they put out is awesome. It's just, like, I love fucking Ozark. They had, like, five or six, like, movies that were really good, original movies that were awesome. They had, and they had a lot of good like, series. Fucking House of Cards wasn't the greatest shit ever for, like, Thank three you. years in a row. A tree came, his face came out, and he was, like, touching boy's booty holes Man, and shit. And then, and then when they, they put on everybody else but him, I was like, well, the show's dead. Y'all can't I'm about to say, the show's stop. dead anyway. Yeah, I, and yeah, motherfucker I, died, so. Yeah, like, there's no point. Um, Spoiler alert, if you hadn't watched any of that yeah, shit. Yeah, he yeah, fucking yeah, died. Um... Yeah, bro. Netflix, do what you doing. Come on. Come on. I love y'all. I ride hard for y'all. I do. I almost defend y'all. Not even to the point of Nintendo. You gotta be, you gotta put some years in with me. But I, I respect, really respect them. it. But I, I do. It's one of those things where it's just like, y'all have to think this out. Because if you're gonna do live streaming, you know, you're gonna have your, your people jump on it and try to, you know, but you gotta take care of them peeps. Because they're not gonna, after what they're Twitch just did to everybody, for nothing. Right, after what Twitch just did to everybody, they're not going to stand for that shit. And Facebook did the same thing early. It's just nobody cared because, you right. know, it's fucking Facebook uh, when they tried to get into gaming. So it's one of those things where, like, like I always tell people when they get into gaming, you're going to get into gaming. Don't have step, bro. Same thing with live streaming. I'm sure people, because we're we not even live streamers like that for real, but I'm sure people feel that way. Don't That's just, have we're lazy. just come in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got shit. We'll to do it right. eventually when we, when we get ready. But look, like, don't have step on that shit. Y'all gonna do it, support people. But I'm just saying, I don't want y'all to live stream because I'm already having some issues. With y'all talking about y'all might do ads. Fix that shit first, okay? I, I can't, want that. I can't look, bro. I didn't think Netflix was gonna make it past the DVD stage, and then when it did, no, it I was like, oh, nigga, <laughs> what? I had to beg <laughs> I, one because I, uh, me and my mom was faithful blockbuster shoppers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and movie gallery before movie gallery and went out of business. Mm-hmm. Faithful blockbuster, blockbuster was every Friday, and if I got good grades, I could get a movie and a game. Right, that's it, nigga. And we've been doing that shit since Nintendo sixty four days, my guy. Facts. Um, when Netflix came out, I was like, okay, I don't want a bunch of DVDs. Sure, didn't think it was gonna last, and they started putting shit on there that I wanted to watch. So, beg my mama for that. And the best part about Netflix, it didn't have fucking commercials. You can it just did. watch. You can watch eight movies. In a fucking row. They have a whole category and a whole term for binging because of Netflix. Because Netflix is like, oh, no, no, bro. We got the whole season. No, you, like, you can watch. You want to watch Grey's Anatomy, nigga? We got seasons one through ten. And even when they put out new shit. Remember when they put out House of Cards? Oh, you want to watch House of Cards? Here go all 12 whole episodes thing. right here. It's like. Whole thing. Yes. Let me, they, did, they didn't start yes. doing episodic shit till like, recently. Recently, and even that, they're like, nah, we don't like that shit. Go back to the other shit. You know, I was like, whole season. I, Here you go, my nigga. I just, I, come on, y'all. I, this live streaming. Why shit, fuck it up? I, I, I don't, I don't want it. You know, that's what I'm saying? what works. I, like, I think that's see, that's that's pride. That's that's being too greedy. That and that's what it is because they're, they're trying to. I think they're at the point to where every new CEO slash new thing gets to where like we can't make any new money anymore. So, like, right. how do we make more money? Because we're just basically making the same amount every year. How do we make more money? And it's I'm like... Sorry. Is that not enough? I mean, no, I understand no. I the grand, but that's capitalism. Yeah, yeah, like... And that's what people don't understand, man. Capitalism has a dead end. Because you're, you're not always going to be that unicorn that shoots up every single year, bro. Right. Like, 
You gotta take some L's or take some break evens. Come on, man. Hey, like my nigga, you ain't happy making five hundred billion dollars a year? No, no, no. no. What makes you happy? No. No, I mean, you know, they only have subscribers worldwide. They, Netflix is in. Netflix is like McDonald's at this point. It is everywhere, nigga. Like oh, you bill you served. You got people that are homeless that still got Netflix accounts. It's like, nigga, why do you have Netflix? What what the hell? Hey man, I still watch. Because it's home. literally something for everybody. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. And it, and you can see the stages in which Netflix got better. It used to just have movies. People was like, I'm on TV shows. Put TV shows that you like. Okay, what about some original shit? Original shit. What about everybody anime? Forget, Nigga, anime. Everybody forget Netflix when they started doing original content. The only two or three things they had was like Lily Hammer, House of Cards. Yeah. And eventually, the seventh thing they came up to was like Orange is the New Black. And then after that, they exploded with shows. Weeds like, oh, and shit. Well, no, Weeds no not Weeds. Coming. Weeds was on Showtime. Yeah, that's on. But the creator who did Weeds did Orange is the New Black. That's what. Um, yeah. And so it's yeah, bro. Like it just exploded. They did comedy. They didn't. They didn't brought the comedy specials. Like whole... Man, that's the only thing I watch at this point. You, you are shit. never going to beat the comedy specials on Netflix. Now. HBO used to be the king, and like the king, like HBO wasn't the king. They were the king. Like you right. put some respect on HBO now. Comedy Central was like second or third, but like HBO was like like you had to be somebody to be on HBO. Now like you got an HBO Netflix. special back in the day. Oh, nigga, you made oh, it. Oh, man, you made it. Good. Netflix now, though? Woo! But see, and Netflix they, now is getting to the point where they didn't blend everybody get a damn special. And everybody don't deserve a special. That's true. <laughs> that That is true. They they have saturated. because Because my main thing when like, I'm at work is I love stand-up comedy. And I don't have to listen to music or podcasts. I listen to a comedy special because I'm out working. Love that shit. And then I'll be listening to some of these. and be an hour, 15 minutes to me just like, mm. All right, didn't like that one. What's the next one? Fuck that. No. <laughs> Go back to the tried and true. Let's listen and to I mean, let's, uh, and, and Delirious funny, again. And I'll say this about Netflix. They've had more hits than misses. Because, I mean, yeah, they've had a lot of misses. Like, I didn't I didn't like Neo Yokio. I know y'all did, but I didn't. I was like, this is trash. I, just know, I just don't understand why. <laughs> don't ever show this again. We all universally hated Death Note. That was like, they were like, we the can't. Live really, shit? No, no, no. Yeah, the live action. Death oh, Note. I was about to say, hold on, girl. Death Note, cool. Yeah. Yo, no, no, no. Death Note, the anime is awesome, but no, no. The live action, we all unanimously just said, Netflix, just send that off to the sea. Don't ever talk We about want that. that. We need that. <laughs> They're like, we got you. We got you. Bleed to it's just like, eh, it's okay, but don't ever do that again. They're like, okay, all right, you don't like that. Okay. But see, but see they, they modeled it for it. Here, watch Bleach the anime again with all of the side shit. Okay, all right, okay, cool. Full Metal Alchemist did the same thing with that. Where they put like, Full Metal okay. Alchemist and Brotherhood on that motherfucker. Right. So, then they gave us no. Let's let's let's. They also gave us bullshit like Cannon Busters. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> hard. Y'all, y'all gonna leave us at the man, boy. That, yeah, yeah. That was that was. I was like, this is Black Trigon, and Trigon is still better. Sorry, <laughs> like I wouldn't I, even say Black Trigon. That shit was it was a sad imitation. It was man, and, and it's it's the music was great, and it had great premise. I was, it's like Yasuke. It was like y'all had it. I like the premise. I liked it, and then like towards what the, the end, fuck? Towards yeah, the <laughs> what the? It's just it, it. It's like here's the train, and we out. <laughs> just gone. Just same thing with Captain Bebop, and I think even you agree with that. It's like this is not the same. This is not what I wanted. And, and you know, I think I liked it, but I yeah, get you it. like because you're a fan of Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, but it it veered so far away from the source material. I understand. Mm-hmm. I just. It just sucked, man. That whole because I like the actors in it. All of them did well, you know. I just I think if they would have called it something else and called it based off Cowboy Bebop, like I think what they should have done is they should have said Cowboy Bebop Shooting Star. That way, people would have known because the Shooting Star manga is completely different from the regular Cowboy Bebop manga. Mm-hmm. People don't know about that. Um, but so, we got shit like got great shit like Castlevania. It's like holy oh, nigga. Man. Oh my god. Nigga. Fantastic. Man, Dota. That shit, man. And Dota. fantastic. Dota. Fucking League of Legends are uh, arcane. That oh, didn't think that? that was it's arcane. It's the, one, the, the one with the, the purple hair chick. No, uh Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dragon's Dogma was so good, bro. I was, I was like, like, how is this shit better than the fucking game? Right. <laughs> I was like that game was boring. Um, I, I I can already tell it's the Resident Evil show. Like, man, did you see this? No, the Resident Evil one was good. No, no, the the, the movie, absolutely. Yeah, the movie. 
the live not that serious shit. Have you seen what they're gonna do with the lot? They said the live action series is gonna be its own thing, and the games are backstory. I was like, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> we can get a black Leon though. <laughs> That's not. I was like, somebody they, come they back. already somebody look, coming back are, black. Look, they already got Black Wesker. So they already got me for that, and it's played by the Lance dude. Okay. From, black, yeah, black. it's played. Yeah, it's played by the guy from The Wire, the black. Oh dude. yeah, Lance Reddick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they might got me all that. They, they might, might got, got me. They, they might got. Me. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. But I. I but the that nigga do been, talk real smooth. Man, he make a perfect Wesker. I just need him to be able to whoop some passionate ass. <laughs> he got. He got. If he don't throw Chris around like Ragdoll, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> he got to take the glasses off. He got to take that jacket off. He take that dust off and he. Mm. I'm just. Re- y'all gonna stop. <laughs> y'all gonna put some respect on Abby J. Wesker. Man. The Wesker, Wesker really the whole the whole game of Resident Evil Five really gave Chris the business. He gave him to work the whole game. He beat the shit out of motherfucker from that beginning man. to end. I was like, God <laughs> damn, fight back, God. Man, when he took Jill down, he just threw Chris. He's like, nigga, pow. I'm like, oh. I was like, God damn. When you play through the series, you realize it's like 12 more of these motherfuckers. <laughs> the world is doomed. I don't know, man. Look, we might look. just need to leave and roll alone, man. Look, uh, unless, unless Chris can get trained by Goku, I don't know what we do with that. <laughs> oh, shit. Even Goku would be like, all right. Motherfucker, I we're just getting things. started. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's bullshit. I haven't felt like this oh, a long yeah. time. Oh, oh, yes. oh we go. working up my muscles, <laughs> bitch ass. Man, but yeah, so Netflix, don't do this, man. Please, please don't. Please don't. Stick with your shit. But that was mine. What's, what's your next one, sir? All right, so my next one, uh, I'm gonna save this one, but some shit nobody cares about. Um, <laughs> you want to hear the not E3 press conference schedule? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. I do. Please tell me. After an all digital event year last year, E3 2022 has officially been canceled. When, when, no one cares. No shit. That, we that knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, we did. But we, that we actually doesn't mean the show. when it comes to major publishers holding diff- holding press conferences. Viewers at home, things may not even look all that different with lots of digital game announcement events happening mid-June, building up hype and excitement for the rest of the year and beyond. So far, we know about big events like the Xbox and Bethesda show, as well as the Summer Games Fest. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the Summer Games Fest because I think it's just going to be a bunch of damn trailers. Well, um, bro, did you, did you hear what Bethesda and, and Microsoft did? I was like, oh. Damn. Oh, yeah, they get their own fucking day, my nigga. No, they pushed Starfield and Redfield again. I don't know what those are. Starfield was the new IP from Bethesda. That's supposed to be oh, like yeah. 2023, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. everybody's like, what the fuck are y'all even going to show? And they, like, you know, at your little conference. And they just like, they going to show uh, themselves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my and, present? I'm in present. My present. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's what it is. Hey y'all, it's me, Phil Spector, baby. Like, but, but where the games? Don't worry about it. We got it. Bitch, don't worry about it. Back look, here. Look, 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 look at me. Look. You know, you know, you gonna do? Did I bring you Game Pass? Did I not give you Game Pass? That's that's true. Xbox you're right, Daddy. You right. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry, I'm Xbox. Sorry. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shit. I will I'm say, right. Microsoft was fucking up because I don't know if you saw the DRM issue they had uh, a few weeks ago or last week. I mm-hmm. actually, so they had a day where like. You couldn't access any of your games. Like, even, it, like, for some people, which, thank God, I didn't have that. Even your physical disc games, you couldn't. Mark's was like, you don't own the game. And they would just spit it back out. I was like, excuse me? Because I was trying to play Trek to Yama. And I couldn't even. a fucking lie. Right. It was like, you don't have a game. I was like, the fuck I don't. I paid that little. And I'm poor. I paid that little $16.49. Nigga, you better start playing this fucking game. And I had to, like, restart my console. And it's like. Oh, okay. I'm working again. I was like, oh, hell. But, it, man, they pissed off everybody because some people didn't have access to anything. The cloud, Xbox Game Pass, physical game discs. I want to say that again. Physical fucking discs that I own. You it's know right, I own. I again. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't, don't do it. Don't do this it. This is not going to play pre-owned games. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 
Oh, oh. Oh, Nick. I was just like, did you that... did you tell him that? No, I didn't tell him that. Is he reading from the prompt? I don't look, know what he doing. Bug it hat. That nigga was fired that day. <laughs> they were just like, you can fucking go. Are you kidding me right now? Look, look uh, we'll tell you when we leave. Don't don't don't, don't put that nigga. Right. We leave that nigga here. We leave that nigga right here. That's like you, you fuck up. You fuck up in the playoffs, and you realize your bag still in the locker room. Or everybody else on the bus. <laughs> And the bus slowly pulling off. Yeah, you yeah, you got fired. You, Bro, you that, I have never seen a promotion so fast. What else, Dave Phil Spencer said? This is my time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then he and then he doubled down. Like, Double you know, down on the bullshit. I was like, Oh, you bold and stupid. I like you. You're gonna be a good mascot one day because you ain't gonna hold that position no more. <laughs> like, hi, Rockman. Yeah. I work at a GameStop. I can tell you, you make way more money on, on pre-owned games than you ever will. Just don't do games. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Oh, they, yeah. Especially when they talk about they about to go to 59 to 60. Stop. Well, what Stop. are you high? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, how many? What perks you on? What you on, brother? Speaking Shit. of, look, how's, how's that model working for this new, new the, the next tier systems now? Oh, yeah, we're going to go to 69, 79. They ain't moved that shit. Yeah, they like, they yo, please. They ain't moved that inch. Please, boss. Talking shit. That, <laughs> please. We're talking about that shit for a year and a half. I ain't seen price yeah, like, increase number one. <laughs> they, matter of fact, they put them bitches on sale. Like, please. We know we ain't got no Xbox so, S or we ain't got no PS5. Please, so PlayStation had they, uh, their summer sale and lasted like a damn month. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, bro. So that shit only supposed to last about bro. two weeks. I was like, yeah, man, this sale's still going on. 75% off. Bro. Okay. Tell me something. Like, like so are y'all okay? All right. Y'all good? Y'all, y'all need some? I'll put some, I, I put some on the light bill. Yeah, look, like, man, I'll try. Look, look, they, they so the two for 10. They were like, yo, yo, I got that crack two for 10. Come on, baby. Look, Come baby, on. I got what you need. I, I got, got that Dove MD, baby. Got the Dove MDs. <laughs> man. Got Woo. the blue tops. Blue tops. <laughs> <laughs> we try to keep lights on this motherfucker. Like shit. Oh, I'm out. Look, I'm out there with no job on the court. I see Sonny. Sonny, what you doing? Hey man, it's hard on the pimp. I ain't good. I'm selling, nigga. I'm selling shit. <laughs> I got, I got these buns two for ten, man. You want some? I'm like, no. What? Is this the new Uncharted? What the fuck? Five for ten, baby. Five for ten, baby. Come on, baby. Brother, from Ben West, I got you. I got what you need. I got what you need, Pippin. That's terrible. How much? How much you got? Nigga, that's not what you're supposed to ask. Five dollars. Sold. <laughs> Shit. Amen, brother. From your hand to mine. Listen, yeah. and, and, and you know what? I, I gotta say, I respect him for that. Cause look, Nintendo can be trouble with everything. You still gonna pay for Zelda? Oh, yeah, you... <laughs> well. Uh, a uh, poor excuse, you. That's fifty nine ninety nine. It's, it it's been out for five years. I don't give a uh, fuck. <laughs> they like they, like that what that did... meme. <laughs> like, why is he still talking? The money ain't in my hand yet. But it did. This game came out in nineteen ninety three. What they got to do with the price of tea? Okay. To fish? I want my fucking money. <laughs> They be out there like they finally released Earthbound three, and that shit still gonna be fifty nine nine out. But Nintendo, oh, yeah. said, oh no, no, y'all niggas want this? If you want it, you gonna pay this fifty nine nine out. You you gonna get mother? You gonna get mother three? You gonna get mother three? But you gonna pay? You gonna pay every goddamn cent? <laughs> every mother. You know what the sad part is? I'm gonna get the collector's edition. You are. I know you are. <laughs> you are. That's one hundred thirty. <laughs> Off top. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> look, um, fa- fucking uh, Fall Guys is supposed to be coming out next week to the Switch. Free, <laughs> free. Did you see? I was look, like, look, look free. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so what what the fuck, free mean? What that mean? Free, free me on. That's what that. Means. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Want to get this free me pack? You buy all the skins. Mm-hmm. That suck my dick. I was like, damn, dog. Y'all pizza down the back too. <laughs> look, everybody want to look- come out. With the fucking Octo expansion shit for uh, the NSO <laughs> and in my Nintendo in the Nintendo nigga chat, <laughs> the dude the dude that posted the video, he was, he's a, he's a Nintendo head like you. He's mm-hmm. like, who the fuck asked for this? No, who the fuck is Goldeneye? Where's the gold? Where's the GameCube emulator? I was like, tell me so, bro. I promise look, 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 all right, that's Phase Two. All right, they look, they gotta make this other money right now. <laughs> nigga, it is look, amazing. It is look. amazing. Look, look, I was I was with you because when they, they released the Mario Kart expansion, I was like, 
Yeah, nobody wants. That's why y'all do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, 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 you pay for the shit I already got. All the right. shit I already played. Yay! A uh, GameCube version of Rainbow Road. Yes. <laughs> All I'm right. Sorry. It's already on Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> um, can we bring back Double Dash? Nope. But you can get this. All right. Cool. Thanks. Can we play Double Dash? Dash? <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope. Ain't working on that. <laughs> you asked for too much. You got to do it. Speaking of, oh, that's another thing too. Speaking of like companies fucking up and shit, bro. And it's, I don't know if this is one of your stories. If it is, I'm going to just say it and I won't. It's not. Um, FIFA and EA. You see that shit? FIFA. It's all about, <laughs> what is it? EAFC now? Yeah. Oh, EAFC, oh, I was like, y'all, FIFA is fucking dumb. First off, both of them are trash. But FIFA sucks. FIFA's like, well, whoever is the FIFA owner is the. I'm like, nigga, do you not? You know EA yeah, has money, the right? Game corporation, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, that's like the NBA, but over there, but for football, you know that, right? You know this, right? You okay. know they can just go buy the teams. You know they can be like, "Yo, y'all want to participate?" They already own yeah. teams. They are yeah. part of FIFA, the FIFA, whatever association. Yeah, so it's it's hilarious because like even today, uh, 2K had to release a statement because everybody's thinking, "Oh, 2K gonna be the next FIFA." 2K is like, "Nah, <laughs> yeah, like, we don't want it. We straight." <laughs> We could we'll go we, see the basketball, the football, <laughs> our regular, we, regular football. Man. Yeah, we we got the other shit. We fine. You know? We recognize we recognize that we barely holding on with these two franchises, and we're not gonna add a third. <laughs> Bruh. Oh shit! I meant to add. Um, along with the PlayStation shit, Sony is also partnering with Ubisoft, and now you get all the Ubisoft games, most Ubisoft games for the free. Yeah, <laughs> what I was expecting. Yeah. I was really expecting to be like, what games? <laughs> Well, well, I was going to say, I mean, look, 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 five. Look, look, Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter, if we get that and we get the other one, I'm down yeah. for the Future Soldier. I'm cool. The rest of them, yeah, like, I, I am back to that. Like, what games? <laughs> I already have a set screen. Thank you. So, what, what else you got? Oh, we got Watch Dogs 1, 2, and 3. So, I only like one of those. So, And I got Watch Dogs too. Like what you want, cuz? <laughs> but they're doing the whole, like, EA Play deal with um, Game Pass. So... I guess it's Ubisoft Plus or some shit, but it'll come. Man, Ubisoft must be desperate as hell. <laughs> and, and you know, just get bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. They they trying to get chose. Look, man. They, not even them. They putting on lipstick and everything. I know. Sold by so many of their little side companies and shit. Square you know, we like, talked about this last week. I had to do some research. I was like, is Square hurt? I told. Man? Did I not tell you? I was like, I'm fucking done. Now you see what? Yeah. I, did you see what they gave away? Yeah, everybody. I was like. <laughs> Everybody. If it went Fall Fancy or nailed down to the RPGs, they were like, you can go. <laughs> you can take it. Yeah. Everything <laughs> must go. You see all that West and American shit? Yeah, we don't want that anymore. Sell it. <laughs> it's like, it's like when the store going out and they selling like the racks that the shit used to come on. Like, goddamn, how much for these racks? About, you can get seven of them for three dollars. Seven for three? Seven? <laughs> all right. Let me get 14. Let's I ain't gonna ask too much questions. Here you go. <laughs> I'm going to just back my truck up to the door. Y'all just put it in there. Okay. That's that clear out saying everything. It was like, I don't give no fuck about none of this shit here. They like, y'all need cash fantasy. You're good. (laughs) You're You're all this pretty much guaranteed, not trainable. (laughs) In Dragon Quest, we still need y'all from Japan. So you good. Nah. Dragon Dragon Quest is this close to the West and shit. If a Toriyama didn't do the art. Niggas will fuck with it. Well, fuck you know, well, no, no, they gotta fuck because yo, Japan's a national holiday. They can't be fucking with that. That's that's Japan's game right there. Us, we follow fancy in the United States, but they they Dragon Quest up there, so you can't fuck with their game. But no, like you're right though. They still out here piecing shit out the back because they, they try yeah. they trying to do all this to get in the NFTs. I'm like, nigga, come on, man. y'all y'all know it's NFTs, delayed, right? bro. I don't know. I don't get so, it. So, but I mean, y'all. Here's another thing you'll know. They already start putting out really risque statues of their characters. Like, there's one of Tiffa with an ass all out. And I'm they like, weren't doing that before? You think that shit I mean, didn't already exist? I mean, I mean oh, they now were, they're just, but, but they're officially they're doing it. making it this first part. This is from Square. The money will go to Square, yeah, not some yeah. weirdo yeah. who makes resin statues in his basement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, shit. Sex sales, my nigga. How you think Victoria's Secret stays in business? It's a billion dollar industry, and they sell pennies. This is true. And perfume. And perfume and shit, but you know and what? Lotions, but you know, yeah. I don't fucking know. You're right, everything. Yeah, I, look, if I was square, I'd have been dead. That shit. That's a whole. 
It's a whole nasty market out there. You realize that not at least twenty percent of every convention that you go to is body pillows. I know. And hentai. Why y'all ain't trying to go to this market? Remember when I introduced you to Dojin and hentai? I was like, yo. Oh yeah, I, I never forgive you for that shit. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> hey man, just, just go see what that's going on. Why I gotta show my ID? I don't like this. <laughs> Anime titties. Oh, 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 oh! I can't be in here. Oh no, no. <laughs> Came out like an old black man in a chicken and then naked. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. <laughs> This no. is not of the Lord. <laughs> the things you do with the octopus ain't right. <laughs> Jesus, no. You'd go sing some hymns and shit. No. I, but bro, why did they sell Deus Ex, though? They, they, they were do. doing shit with Deus Ex. Deus Ex had one, had, had two, one game, two, two games. games. <laughs> but the second game came out ten years later. That, that is bad. That is true. <laughs> it's, I mean, it was like five years later, but no, you oh, your fact, five, okay, look, look, your fact, fact still stands, sir. It's still you, you're still true. You spin the game. You spin. Detroit better. Detroit become human. Far better game. Damn. <laughs> Damn you, was it not? You'll have to do that to them. No, was no, it not though? Come on, man. Come on. I like that. They had Jesse Williams in there. You can't do that to them. <laughs> they had Mika Kelly. They had. They had celebrities in there, sir. Don't you do that the day of sex, okay? Don't you do that. <laughs> better game, better ending. On oh, both sides. Endings. <laughs> endings, yeah. Shit, excuse me. Oh, Adam cool. Jensen was just like, he, all right, he's Batman, <sighs> but like you can pick and choose that. what kind of Batman you want to be. <laughs> I could be Hacker Batmans. I could be... <laughs> I could be Fire Batman. I could be Glaive Batman. <laughs> Right, I could be Samurai, Sneaky Batman. Which Batman you want him to be? I just, I meant to, right? I was like, damn, like, I never, when I saw the IPs, they sold about a good 20. I was like, do y'all not yeah. care about gaming no more shit? Nope. <laughs> it's going to be an NFT production company at this point. Please don't say that. Please, I, I can't take it, man. I can't. That's just like, they're still going back for the fucking Final Fantasy 16 because when they release, like, oh, yeah, it's going to be just a single player game, like Devil May Cry. It's like, no, nah, no, no. Nah. And then they're like, okay, we're going to revamp it. And I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to fuck it up. It's just supposed to come out now. this year. And you're talking about revamp? Oh, nah, nah, bro. That's 2024. I can already feel it. Even Sakaguchi, the original creator of Final Fantasy, is like, they fucking up at Square. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Man. it's okay. They got Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is gonna save them. Kingdom Hearts. You can't another. ride that shit forever, man. That that's shit gonna get solved eventually. Shit. That's shit. another guaranteed <laughs> contract that's not gonna be traded. <laughs> they got they got Kobe on the ten year contract. They like yo, we are gonna keep you. <laughs> they signed Final Fantasy for uh, Final Fantasy is in his max contract deal, so they got that for five years, about two hundred mil. Kingdom Hearts just got renewed. They just picked up another player option. That's what three years. Oh my god, it's 110 mil. Yeah, shit. You might as well go for it. That's another four or five years because you know they're gonna have Kingdom Hearts four and then all the tie-ins to four between four and five. Which I'm really shocked they didn't do that before this one. Oh, shit, you got three. You got three years because the game the new one come out next year. That's two more games after that. Oh, that's that true. Out. Yeah, it, it'll be yeah. Kingdom Hearts sleep by a- by Axiom or some dumb shit. Yeah, but see that right there, that's eight years of content. But that's three hundred million dollars, so you don't have no more cap space. So everybody else gotta go. <laughs> well, you have a concert that's canon, nigga. How? How? How do you sit up there and say, "Hey, man, everything's canon"? What? So the cell phone awesome games? Too. Fuck it, I don't know Lego Movie. The, yeah. <laughs> The cell phone games we didn't get that were in Japan. Yeah, the candy. Sorry, you missed it. Yeah, they work. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you, what was your funny. next one? Because I think we just kind of rambled for a little bit. Oh, my God. I just, we had to on that. My next it's one, okay. though. Now, this one is a joy, though. It's going to make you just like, yeah. So I want to hold on. I'm going to share this real quick because I think this would be cool. And I hope that it happens. But. A long time ago, there was talks. So far away. Right? Shout uh, out to Obi-Wan Kenobi's. <laughs> Shout out to this month. Uh, I just want to put this up. Yeah, this is. So Ed Boone shares another oh, person's tweet about. 
that says, we need a Sega versus Capcom. Make this shit happen. Now, let me just say this. I'm going to stop sharing real quick because I just want to show that picture. Hmm? Um, what the fuck? Okay, let me go back to the... Okay, it's it. Yeah, thank you. Um, now, in the past, we've had some Sega versus Capcom things. We've had Cross Zone, where it's like Namco, Nintendo, mm -hmm. and Sega all together with Capcom and just had all their characters in this little crazy RPG that was really cool. I loved it. Um, and we've had some other times before with Street Fighter and the Retro Fighters and shit like that. But we haven't had a full on Sega versus Capcom. And then Boom says, which is created more than Combat, he's like, yo, we need this. The streets want it. And I agree with them. Now, it's, it's still fancy right now. But can you imagine Sonic versus Mega Man, which already happened to Smash. I get that. But can you imagine okay. the, the Marvel vs. Capcom style of Sonic versus Mega Man, where he has actual real combos, which would be dope. But Sonic's he, short. He is. And that's going to... Oh, man. Sonic going to be uh, another Amaratsu. Ugh. Okay, so maybe tweak that because high punches just didn't connect. But anyway, can you imagine? What do you expect? I know, but I, they could do something for that. But can you imagine uh, another like Ryu versus Akuma from, or no, no, not Akuma, Akira, Akira from Virtual Fighter? Can you imagine uh, fucking. Is Virtual like, Fighter Sega? Yeah, damn. Yeah, it's hmm. Sega. Can you imagine fucking. I like Del Tigre. Uh, or yeah, it yeah, he was cool. The uh, the the Luchador. Uh, Luch yeah. Um, I liked him. Can you Got imagine my ass folded. a virtual on, <laughs> virtual on robot versus a Capcom robot from Lost Planet? Just all kinds of shit. Why, why wouldn't you go with fuck wait or Techromancer? Because Techromancer was actually Capcom, and they were at or Jin, which came from that of weird. I was thinking of Tekken. I'm sorry. Or yeah, or yeah. No tech, yeah, but just imagine all the great fighting game characters and great characters Capcom has. Bionic Commando, the original, not that new shit. That sh what's buddy name? It's all with an S, don't it? Which, which one? What's Bionic Commando's dude? Spencer. Oh, yeah, Nathan. That shit was so stupid. I like so, the old one. I like the one on 360. Just dead. Dead. I like that. Dead. It was so dumb. I mean, even the multiplayer was like, Fighting with like or Spider Man with shotguns, it was just so I didn't understand it at all, but it's okay. He had the armor in school, I, I liked it. But yeah, oh. remember, that's my first introduction to Bionic Commando. I ain't playing an old shit, right? I, just <laughs> no, um, but just imagine like Sega characters fighting Capcom characters. My only gripe is if Ed Boon does it, Ed Boon does more no, no, combat. no, Ed, Ed, Ed Boon wouldn't do it, it'd be Capcom. Oh. It, it, he's just like, saying, yeah, no, he's just saying, what if they did a Marvel versus? I don't think he's qualified to make games that don't involve ripping somebody's spine. And no, beating no, anything. no. He has his own thing, especially he's like doing... you know, Injustice and Mortal Kombat, but never Mortal Kombat versus DC anymore. Never any of those anymore. But what if they had just the rage, Batman? No, I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> don't want to see it. It was stupid. It was, uh, it's, it's just terrible. Uh, it's yeah, I just no, no. But it had such a dope. It had such potential. That storyline almost made sense. I just no. But then no. you could kill nobody. It was just so fucking. The rage, Batman. Ah. Talcon and Dark Saw together. Darkon. <laughs> Hey, Rockman, what are you doing? I'm making a little thing from Men in Black 2 so we can all forget this. <laughs> what are you talking Mortal Kombat vs. DC didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. That would be an interesting idea. Injustice probably influences that, but you know. Injustice came. The first Injustice? Fire, my nigga. Fire. Even the second one was good. They just put more characters in it and made it a little bit better. But, like, I, I yeah. So I want to. Rage, baby. <laughs> Luke, Luke Kang, are you okay? No, the rage. Oh, this is where our killer instinct comes from. Hey, you no, get to you. No, no. <laughs> you just kill people. That's that's what you do. I, I just it was bad, bro. 
It was it was bad. And you can tell that the rage was getting to him because their eyes were flash, and then they would say something completely uncharacteristic of the character. I'm oh, going to end you. Let's let's tie him up. Let's break his fucking neck. Nigga, what's wrong with you? The was rage, the, Batman. Ah. Was that the Flash saying that, or like Batman's like, okay, gang, let's. I'm going to end you, Clark. Oh, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> and then and then they fought him and it was like, oh man, he's acting different. Let's fight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what came over me. We have to research to this. <laughs> Just, <ooh. clears throat> so yeah. I, I just oh. hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, yeah, I I, that, I, man. No. <laughs> but going back to, to say where Scout Cop, I would love to see it. Because, I mean, even if they decide to make it like a platformer, or just, it's, it's gotta be either a, a fighting game or a platformer. I'm about to say, a fighting game sounds decent. Just yeah, make it like one of the better. SNK Capcoms or Marvel vs. Capcom. Hey, or... we, look, look, and Capcom, why are you listening? We need the SNK versus Capcom 3, baby. I need that in my life. Or the Capcom vs. SK3. I need that shit. I will it out. With the SNK shit. Well, no, I have Fatal Fury, so never mind. I guess I got it. And, and King of Fighters is good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, say, I do fuck with King of Fighters every now and again, so yeah, King, I can't King say that. King of Fighters, oh, that's the last good fighting game for my childhood, bro. Well, from your childhood, from, well, Guilty Gear more to come, and Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear. More. Okay, so just Street Fighter. They still make Guilty Gear shit. Yeah, yeah, Street Fighter just let me down. It's okay. I can that's say okay. it. Yeah, I mean, that's because Capcom doesn't care. Maybe. Capcom is doing what Square's doing, except they're doing everything except what the shit makes money. Well, Capcom already said they're gonna put it on PC because they're like, you know, that's that's where the money is, PC. And I'm like, you dumb motherfuckers. The only reason why people know about your games is consoles, but you gonna go to PC? That's what we doing today. That's what we gonna do today in 2022. Fuck all y'all. Straight up. Do you think? Well, I don't know. Cause do they think that the, the systems can't handle the graphics? Because no, I'm tell just, you, it's probably fine. They're just saying like that's where the money is, and I'm like. But but do you know why? Because it's a high res system. It's trying to explore it. You do that for shit that you need environments to. I don't need you to play pretty much this. <clears throat> Thank you. I don't need to play Street Fighter Six on a, on a PC. So I, I swear don't... to God, if they they make that, if like like remember when we talked about them making it an exclusive on Stadia, if they make that, that's it. I'm done with Street Fighter series. I'd be like, all right, well, that's it. That's the end. Street Fighter Five was the last one they made. That was well. No, I'm sorry, because that was trash too. Street Fighter Four was the last Street Fighter. That's that good. Yeah. So fuck that. Damn, I still know, I still know like a hell. I don't know hell of niggas who still play Four. Like, bro, that's why they won't take the, the servers are still going for Four. Five is just four that trash. Decent. Yeah, like Four was good. It had everything we wanted, and they just imp- like. They gave you all the characters you wanted. They gave you mm-hmm. maybe four or five more characters to get. And that was the end of it. It was like, okay, cool. But no, this one's like, hey, here is eight fighters. You can unlock the other 36, though. And it's like, what makes you think I want to pay for five season passes? Five. Not not like one, two. That covers a lot. At seven passes right now. Seven. At $29.99 to $39.99. A pop. A pop. Fuck you. <laughs> All of y'all. Straight Indeed. up. Kiss my shiny black ass. I ain't even, fucking with it. Sit up here and even give us a storyline. It's just. Fuck. I'm about to say, ain't there Four one more damn story. <laughs> Four fights. Okay, that's the end of the game. Next person. Hey, here's 2,000 battle points, which you can't use for shit, but they look cool. Fuck. But hey, you got 2,000 of them. <laughs> you got more than when you came in, so. All right, well, how much does it take to unlock a character? Oh, like 32,000. But that's okay. 80, yeah, it's, but that's okay. You can always just buy the character. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, man. Capcom don't care. They don't. Everything must go. That's terrible, bro. But that, that was my last one. What you got? So, my last one is a trailer, which I'm going to share my screen. It's Ooh. for a very fun game that we're both going to get. Well, all of us are going to get, but I'm going to make it big. Oh, yes. Ah, Dude. shit. Look at my nigga. Look at my nigga. Oh, god damn. Oh. So this is the preview that they showed. I don't really give a fuck about this white guy. So I'm going to skip. But, um, yeah, it's in-game footage. And I'm going to talk. So um, this is they showed this for one of the 
potential missions of the Red Hood and Nightwing gameplay. But while this is playing, I'm going to um, read you this article that recently dropped. So apparently, unfortunately, uh, Warner Bros. Interactive has confirmed that Gotham Knights is no longer coming to the PS4 and the Xbox One system. I saw that. I saw that. That does not mean that it's not coming to the new systems. It's just not... They're not porting anything. They're not going to go down. They're just going. They're making you pay for the up. So I, I will say that's a good decision, just because we all saw what happened with Cyberpunk. So I get it. I see the struggles that they came with trying to fucking put that shit on a um, on a lower console. Clearly, is giving them problems. And as far as I've been told. Um, PC versions of Cyberpunk is fine, and even with their latest patches uh, on the yeah. Xbox, it's fine. It's, yeah, it's decent. yeah. I mean, you still having problems, but yeah, yeah. But it's not nearly as bad as like the game is playable. Yeah, it used to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But this game still looks fucking fantastic. Uh, look at my, look at that. Just fucking lethal with the shit. Ain't trying to save nobody. Shot. No. Nope. Dead. Can uh, I still oh. am kind of conflicted on what you system I'm buying this on because I got like, I got you guys it's on probably gonna be Xbox. Like, Shogun probably get it on the Xbox if I know him. Right. Um, but I got some homies on the PlayStation that seem real anxious about getting. It. Uh, you are, you already know I'm getting on PS5. So uh, I don't know. Uh, as good as this game what, looks, you- this. Did you hear what they changed, though? Well, which one? Well, what? It's not four-player anymore. Yeah. It's just... I mean, I kind of believe that anyway. I, I believe that it. wasn't going to happen anyway. Right, and I, and I get that because... I imagine they probably had a lot of problems trying to get the combo situation down with yeah. four people, you know, and having enough people on screen. Because if anybody in game development will tell you, Excuse me. That's one of the biggest problems about games is that when you have so many people on the screen at one time, it can bog down the game. And so yeah. I get that when you're trying to play online, there's all these other factors too. But then when you have a lot of people playing, like four people playing at one time, you got to keep the graphics kind of primitive. You know? right. And that's another reason why they took the shit um, off of the last gen consoles because it's, it's a very much last gen and it doesn't it also helps because sony's also committed to putting a lot more stock into making more ps5s I believe it. yeah i believe that shit when i see it but you know <clears throat> look i mean you got ps5 now man just wait to the second line because you know that's what, oh the second line at this point is already out no, I'm talking about the, uh, the second design. I'm sorry, the redesign. Oh, you're talking about yeah. the, the 2.0 port. Yeah, yeah, just just wait for 2.0. There's still rumors of the in like the ether that they're going to do a um a pro version that's not going to give you any fucking thing better. They're going to probably claim 8K or some bullshit, but let's be realistic. What game is going to play in 8K? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got an 8K TV, so it don't really matter. You're already... Hey, people don't understand it's hard to do it in 4K right now because there's hardly any games in 4K. There's only a few. And, like, even then, you can't – it's hard to do 4K six frames per second for right. consoles. That's just, like, unheard of. So the fact that they're going to try to make a pro with 8K, that's just stupid. The only thing that's going to be good for is playing your ultra – Blu-ray, which you can play those now on PS5s, but you know, yeah. I mean, that's hella. That's for hella, hella hyper um, explorative games like Forbidden West or right. You know, and even that's not even. I think Forbidden West might be 4K, but some of those aren't even 4K. You know, and advance the story. Yeah, but either way, this game still looks fucking fire. Um, hopefully, that most like player shit changes. Uh, changes back to what it was originally going to be. I know it's real hard, but like that's one of the selling points of this fucking game. Like when we saw it on E3, it's like you can play with four people, making sure that we're ready. And we already established who was gonna be fucking who. I hope it changes. I really do. But this is what I was highlighting. This is what I was gonna highlight. Is you can see all the RPG shit that they feel put in this damn game. <laughs> yeah, and I guarantee you that's gonna get on my nerves like the first week. Yeah, I, yeah, bro. Like they, I, but I mean, I understand. I understand. As a gamer, you can't get away from that shit a lot. 
What's I just funny because it's not again, a major every, point in the fucking Everybody game. used to talk shit about RPGs, and not everybody wants to use the elements from them. Everybody wants uh, to use customization. Everybody that's wants just to me. I used to talk armor. shit. Hello. No, everybody. It was not just you. Trust me. It was many days at GameStop where people were just like, hey, why are you playing with stupid ass RPGs, man? This shit's stupid. This shit dumb. At this point in the story, our okay. are still processing the loss of that. Um, but it's kind of. I hope they don't run into the same problem that um, Avengers did from Crystal Dynamics, where <laughs> none of that shit really matters uh, when you get into multiplayer. We went to your no that, matter you, what. And then on top of that, multiplayer doesn't really work. Great. If they just would have made that a four-player co-op game where you just played the missions, that would have been great. That whole that trying to be a looter shooter was just so stupid for that. So... Uh, you got people trying to mine, uh, mine XP to get certain costumes and shit. Not doing missions. Of course, they've all fixed. They fixed all that shit now. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so, yeah, so I don't. I don't and, I, and I think they won't do that in this one. I think it's gonna because I see the stats actually have good live numbers, not just we're gonna micromanage the numbers and you have to always put on shit. Yeah, I put no stock into anything this trailer says until I see the game. But no, I feel you. And it's supposed to be out October, so oh yeah, it's still coming out in October. It's actually coming out uh after my son is born. It's gonna be crazy. Um, but like this game looks good as fuck still. I like that. I like the I like oh, that they took the uh, the Arkham Knight feel to it because it's still kind of there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like people used to complain. I don't see how people did complain, but the Arkham series is probably one of the best like single player adventure series. Period. I hear you, especially based on the good comic book game. The only oh. one that's right up there with it is Spider Man, and that's, and that's yeah. recently. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's not even. But before Spider Man, like Batman was it because that was a good game. There, this Jesus. So keeping, I think this rock. I think it's Rock City. Yeah, yeah, it's still Rock City. So um, they mastered the shit out of a, con- a good combat system. Uh, their stealth system is fucking decent, and like I said, it's Batman. They already fleshed out a whole hell of a lot of the lore in Batman. I think they do a great job in all of the fast shit that people know about Batman. It's like, oh, it's Bruce Wayne and all that stuff, but it still hits the minute things. Like that villains that nobody cared about, like Calendar Man and Jervis Tetch and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, like they were in the Belfry Tower, um, Pamela's Diner, all these significant shit for Every people who read the books and down. whatnot. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, I think it's gonna be, a, I think it's gonna be a fantastic game. Silent takedowns, but uh, make So. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like. I mean, it, I, I like what they're doing with it. And I'm gonna be real upset if you can't do like a lot of the minute shit. Like, yeah, he has his scrimmage sticks, but if he can't put that shit together and make a staff and work his ass, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, you know, that's gonna be second level. You know, second level upgrades. Yeah, and I need Damian Wayne to snap a, a snap a couple of necks. Oh, you know he will. Here we see um, Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. Yeah. It interrupts the flow system jacks, looks real good. Oh, yeah. Satisfying. Like I said, flow shit is always great. Cryostatus. Yeah, man. Ooh, I ain't going to show the whole trailer. Okay. okay. I'm going okay. to put, put the link to the trailer in the description. Um, it's an old trailer, but just in case you haven't seen the shit, it's fucking dope. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that was my last one. Uh, it's not coming to the old system, so if you ain't got the new systems, get your bread up and um, do some strange for some change to get you one. Listen, I mean, the PS files are starting to kind of come in stock. They're still expensive, but hey, push comes oh, yeah. up. You can always do the Xbox plan, where it's what, like thirty nine for a whole year? No, thirty nine ninety nine a month for a whole year, and you get the system and Xbox mm-hmm. Game Pass. So you got and that's that not too. Even the Series X, you can get a Series S for hella cheaper, mm-hmm. just so you can play this damn game. But I don't know if it plays in the Series S. I know it plays in the Series X. But it well, you know, yeah, because of the specs difference. Uh, it should, but I mean, the specs difference probably shouldn't matter. But I don't. Yeah. I truly yeah, I don't, don't know. know if they're gonna make it compatible. <sighs> That's true. Um, but I'm still proud of them for making that decision because I know that was a tough one. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I I totally get it. Just because, again, I don't want anybody to experience what we had to experience with uh, Cyberpunk. Oh shit! I, was, like, I, I still ain't bought that damn game because I I just said I'm not gonna play it until they come out with the next version, like the complete edition that's got basically the game of the year edition that's got all the patches, all that shit ready. 
It's a good yeah. story. I know it's a good story. Yeah, because it has a lot of great like side and, quests and yeah. No, I don't blame you because it it would it wouldn't finish. It was just yeah. So I, okay. I, they, I get that. I I don't want that for the Arkham series because it's been so good so far. So I don't you know I I totally I'm I'm okay with that decision. But it looks amazing. I was just I was stuck. Like you saw me. I was watching. It. I was like, yeah. yo, that's. Game still comes out October 25th. Um, I'll probably begin the collector's edition of whatever that is. Uh, on which it's, on which system? Don't know yet, but it'll be a collector's edition for me. Looks good, man. I I might do collectors. Just depends. Um, I'm a Batman fan, so I got to. I mean, I I, I I like big games like this that are going to change the gaming industry. So a lot of times I'll get the uh, the collector's edition if they're really good, but I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, this was going to be good. I, I don't, you know. Oh, but, 100%. Uh, just amazing. That's crazy. Good, good, good shot. Good shot. Well, sir, are you ready? Because we're down to the trivia moment. Ah! Ready, yeah, sir? Okay. Can I ask regular questions today? <laughs> you, you can. Uh, so Shit. I, I think I found a better one, and I'm going to also hope. do a 1 through 70 this time. But this time around, if I think the question is not something your age range, I'm going to just – Omit it until you pick something else. So we're gonna That's do right. that. I'm that 29. Kind of <laughs> people know 1993 bread. I don't so, really know that much. So we're gonna jump into the game trivia today, Mister Bucket Hat Shouty. Here's our contestant, and you have really your pick. Of, oh goodness, got Damn. your pick of three questions. So one through, one through seventy, pick three. Um. 69. Let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a child, let's be you, honest you with you. You are a child. Um, 33. And uh, let's just do a nice round number like 16. Okay. Because 16, wait, no, 16 a perfect square? Okay. Yeah, no. But it's okay. Um, in any case, all right, so we're going to start with the order that you chose. You do that. So we're going to start with question number 69. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh, this, yeah, you can totally get this one. All right, so it, we actually talked about 16 is a perfect square, nigga. I ain't crazy. Oh, look at you. I couldn't remember. No, I don't, I don't math well. Uh, <laughs> 69 question. Says, what's the name of the planet that hosts the Gears of War game? Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Can you say that's not one of your... That, that's in your generation, so... It's not Earth, is it? It is not. I can tell you that. <sighs> Damn. I know this. I know this. Fuck. I know this. Oh, oh my god. I know this. Uh, cause E Day happened. E Day happened. I'm trying to remember. Gears of fucking one. E Day. What was it? It was like November something. God damn it. I should know this. Okay, can I have a hint? What is what does it start with? Hmm. Yes, it starts with an S. It starts with it. S. Fuck! <laughs> I know this. I can see the damn. Tr you give up. I know it. I know it as soon as you tell, man. Fucking shit. Game, because I, I know how the fucking game start out. You press start, and it shows you Mark is in fucking jail. Or not in jail. He's in trial. They're bringing his ass to trial. And he's like, let me show you what really happened. And um, it skips. It goes back. E-Day. Everybody's happy-go-lucky. Then holes start opening up in the fucking ground. And grubs start coming in, and they start murdering in Discriminately, my nigga. Yes. Then they show up. Mark is in fucking jail. Don breaks my. I don't know. God damn it. I can't remember. Give up. Yeah. Sarah, 
Sarah, God <laughs> fucking damn it. I Plenty knew it. Zero. I knew it. Uh, I knew all right. It. Uh, so there's one strike against you. That's okay. All right, it's all right. You still got two uh, more. I should have known that one. That's okay. You still got two more shots you can make. So next one is number 33, and oh, it man. says, uh, it's, it's all right, man. It, it happens, bro. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Oh, now this is uh, crazy. So, all right. Take no, actually, no, 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 I can read it, but... <laughs> you need your glass? No, I don't like how they phrase this one. Pick another question. Okay. Um, I'll tell you about it after uh, after right. we finish it. Um, Give me 39. Okay, 39. 39 might be a better one. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow, okay. It's, it's, Am it's I not in! Gonna get it? You you might I don't know let, let let's see um <laughs> all right why you gotta start... pick these damn questions <laughs> I mean look look but you could have got that gears with that that gears I could have got the gears I knew that it gears. was on the tip of my fucking tongue don't don't, don't start with me don't start you're me. right I, I, I I'm fucking up I'm fucking uh, up all right so, up <laughs> there you go damn, so that. question thirty nine says what's a charged creeper. What's a charged creeper? Uh, is In Minecraft? It... Yes. Uh, I don't play Minecraft. Well, no, play Minecraft. I don't play new Minecraft. Fuck. It's not an Enderman. That's a different thing. Octopus. Enderman. Creeper. How you fucking charge a creeper? I have no idea. Give up. All right. Another one you missed. Uh, it's struck by lightning. It's a creeper struck by lightning. That's what we were looking for. I wouldn't have told you that. That's a fucking sentence. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a single thing. Like, it's a it's a super creeper or something like that. Okay. No, nah, no. Nah, it's like a... You can strike shit with lightning? Yeah. In, in, in uh, Minecraft, yes. Huh. I know. I know. All right. Now, this one. The I'm last one. At this point. What's it? I'm about to be zero for three. I don't know. You, you might be. I don't know. But this one, you might make. So this one, and this is according to some research, uh, but this is actually true. What is the highest grossing game of all time? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is debatable. I feel like I've asked you this question. It is debatable, but there is a definite question. I believe you can probably guess this, but go ahead. So, would you like a hint? Yes. It is one of the family staples in Nintendo. Okay, that's what I was about to say, because I was about to say, it's not a new game. It's got to be an old game. Family staple. This is one of their legacy titles. Like, you know, every system, they're going to make this particular game. That that that's not that's a misleading ass hint, nigga. That's supposed to make it. They supposed no, to make no, it. no, no, because it, the answer is on every single one of the platforms. That's in true. Some it's, form or fashion. So are like three other titles though. That is true. That's why I said a family of staples. Like I didn't say like it oh, is. Oh, you said a family of staples. I yeah, like it's in the family. family. It's no, no, it's in the family. Okay. Because remember, they use all of these series to sell every last one of their systems. Okay, I know it's that I I I can know even three. And I know for a fact it's not one. Okay. Do you want me to give you a multiple choice on this? No. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. Okay, take it. From downtown. Tetris? Oh, Andy, miss you. I hate to see it. We were actually looking for Pokemon. Why the fuck? Pokemon, Pokemon nigga. Yeah, it's the highest grossing game of all time, nigga. Pokemon. You said old. <laughs> no, I said it's in the family. It's in the staple family of staples in Nintendo. And it is old. Nigga, Pokemon was out when I was in junior high. Okay, nigga, you old. I don't know. <laughs> Tetris was also out. You said family. Okay, when well you said family of staples, my game, my mind. I went. also said it's on every last one of their gaming systems. 
Every Tetris last is. one. Tetris no. is. No. Okay, if you say in some form or fashion, I was like, I have. I okay, have... yeah, Tetris is. So is Pokemon though. Again, it's it was right there because you could have said Legend of Zelda. <sighs> Tetris. That's what Pokemon, I was like. I was like, hold on, Super bro. Mario Brothers. That's on every Fire Nintendo Emblem. System. <laughs> right. Every Nintendo system. Okay, they go make Well, Fire Emblem Tetris. wasn't, but Pokemon was on. They make a form of Tetris. They make a Super Mario. They don't if they don't make a Mario, they make a Mario Kart for every system. There's Legend of Zelda for damn near every system. And if it's not, it's a port. But Pokemon still. wasn't in my range of thinking. Well, I mean, whose fault was that though? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's okay because I'm gonna give you a bonus one. But before we get to that, what thirty, what thirty three was gonna ask you, bro? I didn't like how it was like phrased. They were gonna ask you. Their question literally was, "When was Super Smash Bros. released?" Now that was no, because they were talking about the one that was on uh the Wii. Because this is the one that got released in 2014. And I was like, yeah, how would he know that from just saying Super Smash Bros. Wait, because that's the one on N64. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. I grew up with the one on the 64, and that was like 1996, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's why I didn't like that they didn't specify that it was Brawl or Melee. They just said oh. Super Smash Bros. So OG, I was like, 1996. Wii, 2014. GameCube, 2001. Right. So that's why I was just like, nah, I'm like Switch, 2014? No. Shit, 2017. 2016. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't like the way they, they said that. But... I might have um, had better luck with that. Fucking Pokemon. <laughs> you might have. But, okay, I'm going to give you a bonus question. I'm going to give you two bonus questions to make up. So, well, you fucked up, but I'm going to still help you. I did so, fuck up. I ain't going to lie. I fucked up number one. <laughs> I fucked I pissed like, that one away. What are you doing? Uh, okay, here's one. It says, what was the name of the character that would later be known as Mario in the original arcade version of Donkey Kong? <laughs> Plumber Jackass? I don't know. Uh... Man, you missed this. Like, I'm gonna make so no. much money. Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, it's not jump man, but it's something along those lines of fucking jumper man or some shit like that. Oh, uh, fuck. I know this one too. I'm gonna be mad when you tell me. You're gonna be real bad. I know it. I know like, you're gonna it. be super bad. It's something fucking simple because it's not Mario and it's not Plumber. Ah, shit. You, uh, you give up? Uh, Would you like a hint, sir? Because if you tell me the hint, it's still not, you're going to give me a vague ass hint. Give me the hint. I'm really hint. not. I'm going to give you one that you should know. This is all you. Future and Drake made a song about this. Jump man. Yeah. You said it, and I was like, I- <laughs> He's like, you can't I, 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 like, I know it was like, I know it was something like simple. It was like, uh, plum man, plum man, jump man. Yeah. Cause all he did was jump. Yeah. That's, that's it. Okay. So there's that one. And then the other one. Shout out to you for knowing the future in Drake's. Look, I think you deserve bonus points too. You don't need to like them niggas. I, I don't, but I know. I know. I know about Purple Rain, sadly. I know about Purple Rain. Uh, let's what? see. Okay. Here's one that, that's challenging, but maybe you'll be appropriate. Right. It's a mixtape between Future and uh Andrew. It's just Future. It's just Future? Okay, well, there you go. See? see the, the fact that I knew Jumpman was just in, in, impossible, but I knew it. Anyway. <laughs> that's all it was, like, was an open right? <laughs> Thought it was? Barely would. All right. Um, so here's the other bonus question. Which popular dining franchise is I love a you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Don't be getting shit right. All the pop culture just be so washed out here. And be like, wait, wait, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. It, know. It's, it's leaning babies. What it was that one of the mixtapes? I, I I don't know what you cool kids are doing out here anymore. I, I don't know. All right. All so right. here here's one. It says, oh, which shit. popular dining franchise is Atari's founder responsible for? Now, this is kind of a challenging one on purpose because I think you know this one. You know. <laughs> and then, plus, I kind of wanted to put a history lesson in there, too. Just to help is it a buffet me. restaurant or something? No, it, it is a famous restaurant that everybody used to go to. Some would say it was a casino for kids. Showbiz Pizza? No, not Showbiz Pizza. Not Showbiz, but. Oh. Uh... 
Well, I, I know uh, Chuck Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, that's right. Ding, 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 that's great. The founder of Atari actually founded Chuck E. Cheese's because he wanted to make an arcade that was for kids. He wanted to make all these weird arcade games. Later, a lot of parents hated it and, uh, well, one, because they, they're annoyed about going to Chuck E. Cheese because their kids are always like, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. hate expensive. going to Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is wow. Oh, oh, no, no. Kids loved it. Parents hated it because it was expensive. But also, some some parents didn't like it because they felt like it was a casino for kids, which it totally was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you did anything for them tickets. But believe it or not, the Atari founder actually came up with the original concept and later sold it off, which that's why now it's, it's terrible. But when he originally did it, like, it was dope because he was like, he looked at showbiz. It's like, that's cool. But you know what we could do? We could add arcade games to it. Yeah, just for kids. And so that's where you get all those like games. Pieces because they sold alcohol. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese probably started selling it, and then you yeah, know. but like 2014, like yeah, yeah, like recently, right? Pieces was selling alcohol in the nineties, my nigga. They're just like, it's your draft. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, all oh. uh, grown ups come to the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, I'm going up there watch the concert. Going up there, that's for y'all. Yeah, going up there, shit. Uh, how much these pieces cost? Shit. Ah, uh, nigga, there was one show biz. It was investment. That shit used to be. On. That shit used to jump. Slap, son, slap. Um, and I went to show this piece twice in my entire life, and then they shut them hoes down. Then Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese took over. <laughs> Chuck, and you know what? You know what? We still shout out to Red. I still gotta go get her a pizza and send it to her doorstep. So she it probably don't. Ta- it probably don't taste the same. I don't know, man. I, it's got. It's gotta have that flavor. If it don't have the whole, we recycle oh, this pizza. Want- I don't want. I, I just want. Yeah, I just want like this is a half of somebody else's piece. I need that. That kind of action in my life. I need that in my life. I need to taste it and go back to the days of being in the meatballs and like shit and playing Teenage mm-hmm. Mutant Ninja Turtles too on mm-hmm. arcades. I need that. Yeah. Playing the Batman Robin game and getting Batman oh, special pizza wings from nothing. Yeah. With, oh god. Um. So yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, that was shout out to them, and yeah, that was our game. You got two out of five, right? So that's that's pretty good. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not good at all. Don't. That's okay. Don't patronize me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's all right, man. It's okay. <laughs> but that that I mean, but that gears though, man. I was I was trying to set you up for that loop, man. What happened? I, knew, what happened? I was what? like, I know, because I have an aunt Sarah, and I was like, I know it's one of my. Rest. And it's spelled the weird way: S E R A. I don't know how you. S E R A. Not yeah. Because yeah. it's supposed to be Tara, but not that. Yeah, I know. I dropped the, the ball now. Then the, the jump man was hilarious. It's like, nigga, you just said it. <laughs> I know. Because I, I knew it was something man. Simple shit. That's it. That's it. That well, Minecraft one, I don't play Minecraft. I don't. I no, I know. Minecraft's are always 50 50. Because I'm the same way. I don't. I played a little bit, but like, I only play Zen mode, so I ain't get into that shit. So it's like, eh. That high they had, game shit, yeah, I, I fucking dropped the ball. Now. How Pokemon, bro? Like how can you like everybody? Well, see, my mind was Pokemon. going everywhere else. I was like, yeah, because I think free. you were, you, yeah, and I think you were leaning to it when I said Nintendo. I think you're trying to lean towards like they, like you said Tetris, like the classics. I, think, I was like, nigga, yeah, they, I, they was making they was making Tetris I, on everything. But, but what do you not? What do you not think of Pokemon? Do you think Pokemon do I hate it? Because when you say Nintendo, my mind doesn't my mind doesn't go to Pokemon when you say Nintendo. When you say That's Nintendo, true. I'm thinking. Nintendo classics, nigga. Like Pong Galaxy, Tetris Galaxy. Nintendo pretty much bought Game Freaks, or they yeah. Game Freaks came around with them, or whatever. They weren't like a fully grown. So I, I get that. I kind of did. I yeah. kind of. Um. Anyway, that was the trivia. Thanks for playing. Come back again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll, next week, I, I I'll try to hit you up some more. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. I'll try to, so you, I come back. Like you, you never got Resident three Evil. out of three on mine, so I'm never. No, it, I mean, that. yeah, and, and and you know, sometimes we can't think on the job, man. It's okay, it's all right, because you know I got all the knowledge. You know, what I I'm don't saying? take tests well. It's, it's a proven fact. <laughs> my, my, me and my mama figured that shit out in high school. I did not take tests well. <laughs> I'm so, gonna go ahead and be 100 percent truthful. First time I took ACT, I got 18. Wow, wow. wow. I didn't end with that score. I ended with like a 23. Oh, so okay, all right. All right I'm all right. not. I, I mean, I went. I went no better. I did with twenty one. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I mean, I'm basically I'm this close to being mentally handicapped, but you know, I I got myself into college and I made it through. Well, I mean, yeah. So that's all. And, hey, By the grace of to, God. Look, you went to a respectable college. I went to ICT Tech. So there you go. What does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get them the paralegal degrees, nigga. <laughs> Still ain't canceled, y'all. Almost yet. 
still, still, to this day, we still just like, hey, man, hey, Joe, Joe, yo, yo, Marie, you say you gonna cancel the loan, Joe? You say you gonna cancel the loan, Joe? He's so, he's so sleepy, he just don't know. He don't know no more. Uh, who are you? No, don't, don't you pull that shit with me. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> I-T-T. <laughs> oh, terrible. Anyway, that was the end of the segment. Now we move on to game of the week. Oh, Mr. Buckass Charlie, what you got for us on game of the week, cuz? I know exactly what I want because I saw it. Uh-oh. It's got all oh, digging in the crates, sir. Digging in the crates. What you got? So, can you tell me? Sorry. Oh, no, no. you good. you good. Can you tell me, sir? Uh-huh. What, what game series represented... Um, a very niche group of people had the dopest soundtrack. Had I can't say it too much without giving it away, but what was the best game that represented a small group of people? And mm-hmm. back then, this shit was still cool. Um, had best one of the best soundtracks, and basically ran this genre for like four or five years. Tony Hawk Pro Skater One or Three. Very close. <laughs> Not Number that two? group of people, though. Oh, okay. BMX? Nope. Oh, one more time. Sean Palmer's Extreme Surfer? No, that was only one game. And they're talking, they're talking about bringing that shit back, which is going to be weird. That'd be cool. But this week's Game of the Week, near and dear to my heart. Um, Need Speed Underground. Oh, Need Speed Underground, too. too. House real big. Everything big. Everything real big. Big. Oh. big. Man, between when I man, tell you, bruh, between that and Midnight insane. Club Dub Edition, we couldn't keep them things in. And then Need for Speed Underground, like Hot Pursuit, if you and wasn't Underground playing 2. Underground 2. Oh my god, I, I have never seen a game fly off the shelves more than them, those games. Most Wanted was the only other one that was just like, fine. you still can't find Most Wanted now. You can't find the Underground I, some more. Man, I got that shit. I got Need Most Wanted twice. But I, I just want to I just want to read you off of the soundtrack, which by the way came out in 1997. So you know it's some bangers on here. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Riders on the Storm, featuring yep. the Doors. Yep. Uh, Capone. Capone. <laughs> I need speed. Uh, Chingy. I uh, wait wait <laughs> for those who don't know who Capone. Is. Can we reiterate who Capone is? <laughs> Capone was the other half of Capone and Noriega. Um, what? 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 <laughs> now Noriega, or Nor, Nori, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Niggas um, over uh, eating. He had he had about two good. He had about two songs. He had about two songs that hit the charts. What you trying to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, that was the and one. And then the other one off the Violet soundtrack, Grimy. You know what I'm saying? Grimy was that shit. Grimy Very New old. York-esque. Uh, Capone. Oh, the other oh, nigga. oh god. <laughs> you Capone put on him. Crazy. You put on him or Capone. You instantly transported to the dusty basement of any New York house. Period. Yeah. Dead ass, son. Dead, Dead ass. ass. <laughs> um, Chingy. Um, now look. Chingy was rapping back in the day. Bangers. He had bangers. Chingy, back Chingy had some bars. Calling me back. Uh, and what, what's the other one? Uh, roll with me. No, roll no, with me? Roll, man. With Jason Weaver, nigga, nigga. But that's you know, you already know. Man. <laughs> Getting all of us. People talk about Holiday Inn because it was like his, his whatever song. Holiday Inn was a banger, sir. Man, was he Snoop Dogg? Dogg? <laughs> and Snoop Dogg. Damn, you What you know about Chingy again? Still told the bitch, roll with me. I the wood. At- <laughs> right there, right there alone. Look. Banger. <laughs> Certified. You threw it at me like I was a show stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing for a poke shop? <laughs> what you do? <laughs> Classic. Uh Sly Boogie. Yo! <laughs> I, ain't heard, Yo. I ain't heard Sly Boogie since this game. Oh my god. Uh X oh. to the Z. Uh Exhibit had a fantastic career uh, up till later. Pimp My Ride. <laughs> See, Pimp My Ride for the death. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> uh, pre-Pimp My Ride exhibit, decent. 
50s. Post, what you say is what you get, baby. And then Phil mm-hmm. mm. Mirage yeah. is like, exhibit y'all, right, man, you don't have to do everything for money. You can just say no. You just say no. <laughs> uh, fucking Terror Squad. Oh, they lean back and just, oh, God. And lean back that's... remix. And lean back remix. Uh, I, I just want to say, starting up, if you don't know that lean back is the national anthem of the Bronx, you've never had a New Yorkian friend, oh, watch DC Zimero. <laughs> yeah. That song was ever. <laughs> uh, then we do during the races of uh, Fluke, it's a European band, Christopher Lawrence. Okay, okay. Okay. Sin, Adam Freeland, it. Paul Van Dyke, Sonic Animation, Killing Junk, Rise Against, Kill Radio, The Bronx, Ministry, Queens of the Stone Age. Yep. Oh my god, these are all the stupid songs. Uh, Tiesto yes, had a song on here. My Chemical Romance had a song on here. Uh, Most Def uh, had, was supposed to have a song on there because Jam on it would have been that shit. You know, it's cool. Most well, stuff disappeared into the world for no Yasin Bay, baby. Yasin Bay. Yeah, man, this shit was. Oh. Let man. me ask you this. Wait, wait, wait. Bucket hat. Let me ask you because hey, you brought up Yasin Bay. What did you think of the new Black Star album? I haven't listened to it. Okay. I, I won't say anything, though. But I will. So, my encouragement for you uh, if we go back to that Rama spot, they play nothing but your era hip hop. <laughs> yes, yes, and so, it was a lot of white people in there. <laughs> that's that. Listen, that's the jam right there, son. Because I, was, we were sitting there eating, and I was like, "Hold on, cuz is is this mathematics by most?" Of <laughs> yes, like, is this definition of a black star. <laughs> that's my jam. Yes, yes. Played the song, and I was like, "Did they just get and, hit by like two thousand four? And then some white girl, like, five seats down from you, like, I fucks with Black Thought Heavy. I'm sorry, did you listen to Do You Want More? Is that a Roots mm-hmm. album? I totally listened to it. If you no, lost. you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> they play X-Clan, and you just like, nigga, what do y'all know about X-Clan? Know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, when they start playing MF Doom, you already know. That's what y'all just I was like, oh, we know. <laughs> We in a woke white Look, people establishment. First all of right. all, if you get to, if you get to any party and they play X Clan, <laughs> and everybody in there is not forty and older, somebody in there woke and he about to explain to you why you his queen or king. One or two. <laughs> Look, them niggas rap, them niggas wrapped off the seven principles of, of Kwanzaa, and I was like, I know all this shit. And the only reason I know it is because I <laughs> when I went to church, they taught us about this shit in school. <laughs> I ain't never heard this shit in a rap song before. That's uh, that's that's black green and black uh, Africa symbol chains heavy. That's the black medallion and everything. Because I'm black, yeah. y'all. Because I'm, I'm black, y'all. Yeah. Black that's... be black. Because I'm black, y'all. Mm. <laughs> no. Oh. <Sissies. laughs> Love that shit. Oh, no, no. But when they play it, they're presidents, though. <laughs> Him. Hop. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get somebody killed in here. <laughs> we too woke. We too woke. Stop. Go to sleep. You scared the hoes. You scared the hoes. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's pyramids and the Egyptian symbols and shit. It's like ah, I don't know about. Hey, hey. I don't hey. think hotel's ready for that shit. Man, that was that was military hotel for real back mm-hmm. in the day. That was hotel before hotel because they, they that was lyrics though. Man, they lyrics were hard, and that video was hilarious because they start with the big ass like, "Now nah, we got your attention." Hip hop, hip. hip. I was like, "Oh hip. shit!" Right. <laughs> they okay. said we got the ride of all them crackers to city hall. I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" Whoa. And I was about to, "You gonna get killed first, out here?" <laughs> when I first saw it, I was a teenager and I didn't understand it. And then my mentor, who started putting me on with all the old black music, he's like, "How hey, you can't get it in this?" But you just listen to Lil John. And I was like, "Because Lil John said fuck them niggas on the east side." They said the same thing. Facts, except they were like, and I, had to, and I had to sit back and I'd be like, <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You gotta do like the dude from the wire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and it just kind of opened my mind. Like, oh my God. Yeah, Derek, man. Derek that generation is shit. Listen, Dead President is like opening the book of Genesis again and Revelations. You, y'all, you're ready for that shit. 
Gotta be, gotta be going uh, through some hard times to open the bar. Like, Let's see what Revelation is talking about. That's when that that's was their presidents. That's <laughs> when I have to tell my my boy, I'm like, hey, bro, too lyrical. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta meet me on my level. I'm, I'm, I'm scaring the hoes, scaring the hoes. Yeah, do yeah it. bro. Can't do, can't do. <laughs> Man. Oh my nigga, god! Then they almost. I think he's ready to fight me because I told him I can't listen to Common because he's too lyrical. And I was, he's like, "What the fuck you mean, too lyrical?" <laughs> that's what wrong, child brothers. Now he did the little art. That's what wrong, child brothers. Now he did. I was like, "Look, bro, sometimes I don't want to hear shit. Sometimes I want to hear about hoes and you know murdering motherfuckers." Why bro, can't you, know? you take the good beat with the good lyrics? But you're not ready for that today, are you? Sometimes, sometimes I don't want to hear that, bro. I, I, I bet if the white man Eminem was rapping it, you'd be listening to him. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay. Shout out to my nigga. What you know about knowledge itself by by uh Black Star? Nigga, like here here and his uh, his go to is usually his go to usually is black though. But uh he'll he'll throw out nappy roots and shit and I'll be like, okay, yes, I know. Oh no, sick and tired. They was they were singing the spiritual hymns. He was like, Yeah, y'all don't even like Lingo Spirituals in this day and age. And I was like, No, we don't. You know why? Because Drake makes it so cool to <laughs> sing the women and you know, do ignorant shit. And we got A, B, and C, young this, that, and the third to do all the violent shit. Pretty much uh, we y'all had all of the uh the people that are getting locked up now with young thug. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a whole we ain't gonna get into that shit. God damn. <laughs> Nigga, you like it? Nigga, millions, right? But you're right. We ain't gonna get into that. Ain't that kind of show? (laughs) It's not. It is not. But um, (laughs) uh, thanks everybody for reaching another. If you made it this far, wow. Um, uh, fire episode. Thank you for listening to uh, the Nerd Plate. Um, we do appreciate. Follow us on all our social media at the Nerd Plate. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Send us an email. I haven't got one of those in years. Uh, at the nerdplate podcast at gmail.com. We'd love to hear your comments, questions, and concerns. Or if you just want to bitch at us, um, you can donate to the show through Anchor, through Coffee, or through Patreon. Um, still looking for voice actors uh, for Virtuous Armament Season. A- actually, actually, got them all. They're actually all in. So the. <laughs> The it's closed for right now, but I am taking uh voice actors for season three. So hey, if you want to work with me on season three, I'll let you. Let's but worry season about two season two. Okay, know, let's I finish know. season two first. <laughs> I, I know. I like, count our chickens before they hatch, as the old folks say. All right, all right. And um, as always, you can listen to this show on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you get your podcast, and Anchor. Every- and anchor every Wednesday faithfully uh, around like 8 o'clock because sometimes it just should be fucking up and it don't come out at 8 o'clock. Sometimes it come out at 8.30. It really don't be us. It really just be the system. It really, Yeah, it really does. It really just be um, the system. Uh, like with YouTube is a little bit better, but yeah, the system is fucked up. But fucked yeah. Up. Um, yeah. Uh, you got anything else you need to No, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate it. And uh yeah, no, that's that's it. Till next time. I'm Rock Bay 3K3. And today I'm Buckethead Shout, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>